Hey yo, hey yo, what is good everybody? How you doing? And welcome to the late night Pokemon card stream. I hope you're having a fantastic night. I for one am having a very good one. I'm very excited for tonight. I think we got some cool stuff ahead of us. Um, I think tonight is going to be a very busy, very packed night in terms of orders. We already have one pre-order. It's pretty insane. Uh, so I'm looking forward to tonight and seeing how everything goes. Let's get the links out to everybody. And we will get rocking and rolling here. We do have uh, something I want to talk about when we get there. But, 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 for the time being, we're just going to get all the links out. And we're going to start it off like we usually do. All right? Good to have you all here. Very excited. And uh, let's get everything set up. All right. Let's get all the links real quick. Alrighty. Hello. There we go. Uh, Discord. There we go. Alrighty. Okay, okay. Let's get it going, baby. Ooh. Alright, looking forward to tonight, baby. Looking forward to tonight. So... What's up, y'all? How you doing? Welcome to stream. Very excited to have all of you here. We got some really fun stuff ahead of us. Uh, some things that I think a lot of you are going to be very excited about, interested in, etc. We got the Griever tea. It's good. Tea's good. I love tea. I'm a tea guy now. Fun fact. I just became a tea guy, and I'm not. I'm not leaving. I'm staying here. I like tea. It's good. Anyways, y'all ready for this? Let's do it. First and foremost, everybody, let's say hello to everybody in chat. Uh, get everything. There we go. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. All right. As long as you guys can hear me, then we're rocking. Patty G said, let's fucking go. <laughs> What's good, Patty G? How you doing, brother? Patty G, you have a big order coming in, man. Big order coming in. Excited to service that. Uh, Kaiser said, hello, everyone. What's good, Kaiser? FOMO, hello. Had to come back to watch this. Tyson, you ain't leaving. You ain't leaving. You might go a day, but you're gonna you're coming back. You're you love it here. Uh, pinky up or down? Oh, classic fucking pinky down. I don't care. I'm I'm gonna drink it like it's coffee, even though it's tea. I don't give a shit. Mm. Hot burns the throat. I love that. Uh, Patty G said hello. What's good, Patty G? How you doing, brother? How you holding up, man? So, to start off stream tonight. We're just gonna get right into it. We're not gonna we're not gonna play no silly games. We're not gonna pretend like uh, we're not gonna pretend as if we don't know it's about to go down. Cause I know it's about to go down. We have to start off stream on a high note, on a fucking great note, and we are. You ready for this? Let's get into it. We're starting off stream on a on a big on a big fucking rocket. We're <laughs> just put it that way. Our first order of the night is, and I apologize for everybody else after in queue. It's going to take a little bit, um, but don't worry. It's going to be it's going to be good. We have an order coming in from Patty G for two thousand dollars, and Patty G said, and I quote, "Lucky bags, all of them." Now I don't know exactly how many lucky bags are left in this round. But we're about to find out. This could be all of them. Let's switch to cams. Let's switch the cams. This could be this could be this could be all of them. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. There's twenty-seven bags left in this round. So Patty G, you're actually short seven hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. You are, if you wanted to buy all of them, Patty G, you would have to send another 700. We are at 27 bags. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and an on come mountain. So if you wanted to finish it off, that's how you could. But if not, you have 20 bags to choose from. 20 bags. So. I said another seven. All right, sounds good. We'll buy them out. <laughs> so good news. Good. There's some good news, right? There's some good news. Clearly, you're going to be getting a very, very big hit. Actually, two, two very big hits in this round. 
on top of that, you are going to get a lot of other things, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of interesting stuff. Um, and you're going to you're going to have some pretty cool stuff to grade after this. I, th I think you're going to have a very fun time grading. Um, Patty G, if you if you grade as much as I do, you're going to have a fun time with, uh, with the bags. You're going to have a very good time. Because there is some really, really good stuff to grade in this bunch. And I'm excited to see exactly uh, what we got here for you. All right? So, let's get moving. Let's see. All right, Patty G sent the other seven hundo, which is going to put us at 2,700. So Patty G is doing every single lucky bag. Every single lucky bag in this round. But do not fret. Do not worry. If you're like, dang, dude, I wanted to get in on this round of lucky bags. There's already another round ready. There's another round ready. And here's the thing. Although Patty G is probably going to have a fucking great time. And I'm telling you right now, Patty G, if you grade like just half of the stuff you're about to get... You're going to do very, very well. <laughs> I think just in like the slab value, you're going to make a lot of that back. But in the graded value of stuff, dude, <laughs> you're gonna, it's going to get fucking wild. Regardless, in case you guys were like, dang, lucky bags are out. Can't get any tonight. That's incorrect. We have a whole nother round of lucky bags ready right here. And there is a bag in these next 30. You ready for it? There's a bag in these next 30 that is right under $1,000 of value. So, we have basically another $1,000 bag round. And on top of that, we just got a round bought out from Patty G. So, let's fucking do it. Let's get into tonight, baby. Cheers to anybody having some tea. I love my tea, man. I'm a tea guy now. I'm, I, I get a little bit of a sinus infection. I'm like, yo, tea's the shit. I'm, I'm a tea bro. I promise I'd do it. You're a man of your word. I love that. Let's get into it, baby. It's time to do, 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 do the lucky bag. So we're going to, I guess, just like, we're just going to go at them in order. So let's just, uh, let's, let's start with this. I'm going to take the, t uh, I'm going to take the real good ones that I can at least, I'm going to take at least a few of the good ones I can see right off the bat. And I'm going to put them right here. Here's some really good ones. I'm going to put them right here. And we're just going to kind of go down the go down the ropes. We'll start off with, like, Blastoid. Let's just... We'll go through them. All right? We're just going to go through them. Here's what we're going to do, Patty G. To make it convenient for you and me, we're going to put all your contents back in the bags they came from. So it's just easy. I can just ship them out to you super easy. And they're already together. And I just know they're all yours. <laughs> right? So let's take a look here. Blastoise. How is Blastoise? Let's find out. Eridos. Weekly Tough. Char. Fortress. Some gamers. It's just a, It looks like a gamer bag. It's a gamer bag. Enamorous CSR. It's pretty cool. Kyorem Rainbow Rare and Haunch Crow. So this wasn't. It was an F bag. It was an F bag. Let's call it what it is. It's an F bag. Blastoise was an F bag. So if you were considering Blastoise, also what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna sleeve things with these because I think these sleeves are pretty slick. These are sleeves we got from Card Fiend. Sleeves we got from the old Card Fiend. They hit us up with a bunch of free sleeves and binder. So we're just going to go through every single bag. Clearly, some bags are going to be a lot better than others. Nice Honkro V alternate art from uh, Starbirth, right? And then uh, just like a, basically the accumulation of a shiny treasure box in that one. So it's not a great bag. But hey, like I said, some of them are going to be fucking great. Some of them are going to be, you know, they're going to be bags. Next up, Slowbro. What is Slowbro? We're gonna we're gonna try and I want to try and go from the lower ones to the better ones in order here for Patty G, so we can get like the lower ones out of the way, so we can see them, and then we'll get to the high ones. Trubbish, Pikachu, Genesect, Greedent, Tyranitar, Breloom, Power Tablet, whoa, Greedent, Vmax, and Greedent. This was the Greedent bag. The Greedent bag was not that great. He was like a low mid. So Greedent bag, not a good, not a great guy, but he's a cool guy. We like Greedent. Next up, this one's pretty good. Muck. Let's see what Muck was. Muck, Muck, Muck. Muck had a Trubbish. We like Muck. We like Trubbish and Muck. Greninja, Bolton, Lucario, Bolton, <laughs> Mew, Chandelure, Bolton, Mew VMAX, Dancer, Full Art, Dancer, Rainbow Rare, and Mew VMAX, Alternative Art. Ooh, that's nice mid-tier. It's a nice mid-tier with a nice alternative art to go with it. A beautiful Mew VMAX alternative art, and he's looking beautiful. He looks really good. Uh, Patty G, what I will suggest with this Mew VMAX is definitely grade him. He's definitely going to pull a PSA 10. If you if you grade him with Beckett, I think he'll get a uh, I think he'll get a pristine 10. I just don't think he 
he, he, I think he's a pristine 10. I don't think he's a black label. Next up is Chansey, and Chansey was 10 Japanese, 151. That's it. 10 JP 151, mid tier. Chansey. So, what we're going to do here is get you 10 JP 151. See how this goes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And let's get through it. No air. Psyduck. Golem. Alakazam, full art. Very nice. Tauros, no air. Persian, no air. Mew EX. Snorlax, no air. Poliwhirl. And Raticate, no air. So, best hit there. I'm going to call it the Psyduck. That was a Chansey bag. Now, reminder, JP151 just hit an SAR right before that round. So, what we're hoping for next is another SAR, some Master Balls, whatever else is in there. Chansey bag. Next bag is the Jolteon. Keep in mind, again, if you're like, wow, all these bags are shit. Remember, we're starting off from the lower ones, and we're getting to the higher ones. <laughs> Since Patty G did all of them, we we got to we gotta build our way up. 10 CJWF, Cyber Judge Wild Force. Basic Energy, Jinx. Give it that big fucking smooch. Radiant Steelix, Parasect, Dancer, Full Art, really OC. And Duraldon, Alternative Art. So the total value of this one's probably, again, like a mid. Low mid, mid, somewhere in there. Put all these ones in, and let's get our CJWF and see what that is going to reward us. Come on, baby. What are you doing, Jinx? It's always Jinx getting thrown sideways in the bags. Jinx is a freak, bitch. 10 CJWF. Come on now. Can I grab him? There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. CJWF, are you going to be good to us? Let's find out. CJWF, CJWF. You ready? Incineroar. Ooh, Salvatore Full Art. He's a cool guy. Metagross. Art Rare. I like this card. Very pretty. Ribombi. No, this is Cutie Fly. Cutie Fly AR. Ooh, this is a good card. It's like 15, 20 bucks. This is the uh, Power Catcher. A spec. Very nice. Um, Iron Boulder. Iron Leaves. Iron Thorn. Frigarath. And another Metagross. So you actually got some really nice cards that need to be sleeved up there. Some pretty good ones. Alrighty. That was actually good. I think you actually might have gotten more value from your round than the actual worth of the the CJWF there. Because this is about 15, 20. These are all five a pop right now. Actually, he's been selling more towards 17. We'll call it 20 because we're going to be quirky tonight. Uh, so 20 plus these 30. Plus these. 35. 40. Salvatore is literally like 10 bucks. And then plus the EXs, which are like two a pop, call them. So you actually did do better than the actual card stated. You probably made like 58 here rather than 50. So that's cool. It's an instance where the hot box actually does better. Can happen. Does happen a lot when you hit a really good round. But some of the rounds are duds. Some of the rounds are good. Next up, Mewtwo. Ooh, Mewtwo. Is that Zaddy Mewtwo? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Brakesian, Tyranitar, Lucario, Morpeko, Snorlax, Applin, Radiant Hisuian, Sneasler, Alcremi, ooh, Zorark, Omastar, Rotom, Gallade, Sanaconda, Arbok, Full Art, Reggie Draco, Full Art, Cynthia's Ambition, Super OC. Look at the top to bottom there. That cool. And the Charizard EX Full Art. Beautiful. It's like a $60 card. You should grade that. I think he's probably like 150 10 so he's actually really nice. Charizard, EX, Full Art. Beautiful guy. Like I said, we're going to keep all these done for you, so it's just easier for you and for me. <laughs> all right. Umber or Vaporeon. I almost said Umbreon. Vaporeon. What's up, Vaporeon? Vaporeon coming through with Toxtricity, Mousehold, Rourke, <laughs> Aegis Slash, Full Art, and an Iono. S-I-R from Paldea Evolved. Left to right looking good. Top to bottom looking good. The back is looking good. No whitening. No white dots. I'd grade it. Pretty sure this is actually pretty expensive in a 10. I think she pushes 300 in a 10 for the English side. So this is a very good one. You want to grade this one. Grade your Iono. For sure grade. I should honestly be putting all the cards that I would grade if I were you aside to put them in a separate bag. I'm going to do that for you, Patty G. I feel like that's a that's a smart that's a homie move, right? You're doing a homie move. I should do the homie move back and be separating things you should grade. Just because, like I said, 
with the amount you're spending on all the bags, typically, right, if you're buying out every bag, does that technically mean you're going to make crazy amounts of money? In most cases, no, because the bags are meant to be like, hey, try and get a snipe in there. If you get like 10, you can make a lot. You, you get the point. But I kind of want to see how good they actually are for this round. Because I want to see all the stuff I would grade and granted the grade value in total with all like the big hit bags. Gloom was literally just this. <laughs> Gloom was quite literally just a Galarian per Berserker V alternative art from Lost Origin or Lost Abyss. That's great. It's a fucking great card. I love that. <laughs> uh, Oddish. What was Oddish? I'm like remembering what is in half of these bags just by speed running them. Um, blah, blah, blah. Eridos, Suing Arcanine, uh, Zorark, Rotom, Skelter, Quaxwell, Baxcalibur. That was an OC. I'd say grade it, but little OC. Sudowudo, Meowskrata, Chen Pao, Dendra, Grusha, Dedene, Quaquavel, Grusha, S A R. Not bad. Not bad there. Probably mid. Not too shabby on that one. Remember, we haven't even gone into the high tiers yet. So we're build we're building our way up. We're building our way up. Alright. 10 CJWF. That's nice. Pull an SAR from CJWF. Um Energy. Energy. Pidgeot. Venusaur. Parasect Snorlax. Charizard Wigglytuff. So this main value is coming from the CJWF. So let's see what CJ CJWF has got in store for us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. CJWF, be good to us, you slick rick. Frigoraph. Oh, gold. Cobalt. What is this fucking thing called? Iron crown? Iron crown gold. Very pretty. Uh, gas station with your boys. Fill each other up. You got to stick those up your you know what, and you fill up you fill up the gas. Iron crown, Caesar. Uh, cutie fly. Lake of tongue. Cutest fucking art, dude. So good. By the way, just a. Oh, that's a good one. Cryptomania, or what is this? Code Breaker, Decipher, whatever the fuck. Macus knows the name of this card. It's a good card. And another Lick of Tongue. So double Lick of Tongues, double Lick of Tongue action uh, here. We got to sleeve up the licks. Sle you got to sleeve up the Lick of Tongues. I would honestly, you know what I would do, Patty G? <laughs> Just like for shits and gigs, throw like some of these ARs that you're going to get tonight. If you get like dupes of some, throw them out to like Beckett. See if you can snag a black label. These ARs, a, a lot of good ARs, like solid a Japanese ARs in black labels, actually go for like four to five hundred. Just something to think about. Um, I've been entertaining Beckett a lot more as of recently, uh, just because of a lot of the cards I have that I've been sending out to PSA for the longest time. I've realized that some of them are like totally not should never get a 10 and that's why i'm sending them and then i realize why am i sending the ones that always should that are like perfect it just doesn't make sense why don't i why, not, why at least not try to get a black label because if i do the value of the card almost 10 x's in some cases it just doesn't make sense why i'm not trying that so i've been doing that a lot more and i can tell you the results so far have been pretty good been pretty good black labels are still very hard to get i'm not gonna act like that's not a thing but uh, yeah, if you're sending out like fucking perfect cards, you could you could do it, you could do it. Alrighty, that one's situated. Nice uh, CJWF pulls right there. That was actually really good because I know the gold is like twenty something and the Cryptomaniac is twenty something, so that was good. All right, let's keep it going. Gyarados bag looks like a dud bag. He looks like a dud bag, but we're gonna find out if he actually was. What, were you actually a dud bag, Gyarados? Were you? You look like it. You look like it. You look like it. Yeah, you were a dud bag. Gyarados was a dud bag. You usually tell which ones are dud bags. Sometimes you have ones that don't look like dud bags sneak up on you, and they're like, hey, I'm not a dud bag. I actually have a crazy hit. But then most of the time they are. 10 CJWF for the Lickitung bag. That's good. 10 CJWF, basic energy, Mew EX, Giratina V-Star. Actually, like an $11 card. Very playable right now. Metagross Full Art and Nessa Full Art. Nessa Full Art's pretty damn good. T 10 CJWF. See how it goes. How goes it, CJWF? How goes it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. CJWF. CJWF. We got Chadot. Nice. Raging Bolt. Oh, Raging Wake Gold. Okay, nice. Fluttermane, AR. <laughs> Rillaboom Drum. <laughs> Excadrill, super cute. 
And Iron Boulder. A couple cards here I want to sleeve up for you. A couple nice ones in here that I, I personally really like and that are actually really good. Like I said, CJWF has been super consistent with hitting lots of good cards um, in the hot box, which is good. It, it actually, like, when it when it when when we put it in the, the lucky bag, it's like, oh, it's $50 worth of value. And you're like, no, it fucking isn't. Every time we do it, it's not good. That's like CJ or WF has never been like that. It's always been really solid. If anything, you're getting more value out of the CJ WF most of the time. The only hot box that is deceptive in that way is the JP151 because it's a very high risk hot box. But when people have hit on it in their lucky bags, they actually do like pretty fucking well. I'm pretty sure we had a round yesterday with the JP151. I think it was like 10 JP151 in a lucky bag or some shit. And the individual got like an, an SAR and then we had another one the other day where somebody got like two master balls and like a nice full art and like, you know, like they can go really well. It's just you also got to consider the fact that that one's a high risk high reward. All right. Get all these ones together. I don't know in English or Japanese, so that's good. I don't know. It's solid. Very good pull. Both in English and Japanese. Really solid. They were looked at in the wrong direction. Instead of perfect black labels, what about BGS 10s? Aren't they slightly more expensive PSA 10? PSA 10s aren't as expensive as uh, BGS 10s on average. 10 OG. Nice. Basic Energy, Basic Energy, Basic Energy, Tornadus, Arbok, Kangaskhan, Golem, Blastoise, Nido King, Welcoming Lantern, Caitlyn, and Erica's Invitation. That's actually a pretty solid little lineup there. Like 12. It's like 12. That's like 8. It's like 10, 42. All these are probably... This one's a little overvalued. I think you made like 20 on this. Depends how the OG goes. Is the OG going to be nice to us, though? That's the question. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Damn it, I was so close. Let's find out. Greninja, <laughs> Greninja Gold Star promo. It's actually fucking cool. Graplocked full art. Gloom AR, that's good. Glimora full art. Don Fan Celebrations. Ditto. The Dene. Dark Sylveon, Dark Gyarados, Sally, Ice Q S I R, huh? Cool. Some nice pulls there. I like this Greninja Gold Star. This is pretty cool. I wonder what this thing goes for in a BGS ten. The Greninja Gold Star, probably a pretty sought after card because it probably looks really good in the um, probably looks really good in the slab. Yo yo, what's good, Franco? I want ice cream, but I don't have any. Macus mood, except me with like uh. Pork tone katsu right now, to be to be honest. Pork tone katsu right now. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, yeah. Heard someone bought out the LBs. Yes, sir. Patty G bought out the LBs, and we're doing them right now. Aerodactyl. 10 CJWF for Aerodactyl on the front. What else we got here with the 10 CJWF? 10 CJWF. Energy, energy, energy. Jinx. Umbreon VMAX. Sylveon V. Do you guys know the Umbreon VMAX? Sylveon VMAX actually have value now? I remember when they used to be like three bucks. Now they're like, I think, eight or some shit. Charizard EX and Mew EX Gold. It's like 12, like eight, like eight, 16, 24, 36, 38, 40. It's a little undervalued. One. 10 CJWF could change that though. CJWF has been very good tonight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 CJ WF. Let's see it. Come on, CJ. Iron Crown. That's good. Prime Catcher. Nice 20 bucks back. Metagross. Good. Full Art Iron Leave, that's good. Sawsbuck, that's good. Iron Thorn, that's good. Excadrill, that's good. Another fucking Full Art Iron, <laughs> okay. Iron and Relicant, that was a really good round. Shit. We're liking CJWF tonight. It's doing good. It's hitting. It's hitting hard, man. It's hitting like dad. <laughs> it reminds me of dad. Reminds me of dad. 10 JP151 on the Dugong. That's it. 10 JP151 Dugong. Come on, Dugong. Be good to us. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Come on, Dugong. Oh, Venusaur Full Art. Uh, is it an error? Error Venomoth Reverse. You can see the error right there. That's nice. War Turtle Error. You can see the error up here. Tangela. Nine Tails. Mew. Butterfree, is there an error? This is a normal Butterfree. Voltorb with no error. Parasect with no error. And Tentacruel with an error at the top right here. Not a bad round. Not terrible. 
Not terrible at all. Not too bad on that one. JP151 needs to hit a Master Ball. We haven't had one in, I think, 20. So I would like to see one. What was the last Master Ball we got from JP151? Wasn't it a, um... Wasn't it a Meowth? <laughs> wasn't it a Meowth? Well, we're gonna find out, maybe. <laughs> 10 JP151 again. I saw FPS dropped a little bit. Should shoot back up. Apologize if it uh, went down for you guys. Should shoot right back up. 10 JP151 again. Let's do it. Come on out. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Was Meowth. We got Jigglypuff Air Reverse. Reverse Air. <laughs> Charmeleon. Uh, Pidgeo Pidgeot Reverse Air. Ivysaur. Doduo. Is it an Air? No, no Air. Marowak Reverse. No Air. Alakazam. Zapdos. Aerodactyl Reverse Air. Very nice. Clefairy Normal. Looks like we're on a little bit of a drought to the next Master Ball here, which is fine. Some of these Master Balls in here are very expensive, so you can see little droughts like that. Come on, baby. Come on. I want to see the new Master Ball. I want to see whatever it is. And if it's like a good one. What bag doing? There we go. Here we go. Dragonite bag was JP15. 3V star on the... Oh, this is eggs. This is eggs -acute. Execute. Zaddy. Zaddy execute. Be good. 3V star. What else after that? Belly bolt. <laughs> Belly bolt. Carvana promo. Reboot pod. That's what it's called. And Bianca's devotion. English Bianca's devotion. Ooh, a little bit of it's temporal forces here. And we got 3V star to go with that. 3V three, three star. You should grade that Bianca's because uh, she's like just came out. 3V star. V star. Be good to us. Don't be shite. 1, 2. Fuck you, V star. Okay. <laughs> At least Bianca's good. I'd grade the Bianca, to be honest. Just because she just came out, pulling her in a 10 could be like an easy 200 uh, move if you're trying to like do that. Really comes down to if you're trying to do that or not, though. Right? 10, oh, here we go. 10 JP151 Ammonite. Looks like we got some stuff behind here, too. 10 JP151. Three Shiny Treasures. Gouging Fire EX. Carvana, Galarian Articuno Full Art. Chinchino AR. Iron Thorns Promo. And Iron Boulder EX Gold. All right, that's actually a good round. 10 JP151. Three Shiny. Let's get it going. 10 JP151. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I was close. Wait, no. Oh, I almost put it in there. Let's keep it going. Ivysaur error reverse. You should grade these errors. See how they go. A lot of them, from what I've seen, nobody's really grading the the reverse errors. People are selling them for more, but they're not grading them. Nine tails, Pidgeotto, Onyx error, Pidgeotto error, Abra error, Kangaskhan, Wigglytuff. Victory Bell Reverse, Golduck Reverse Error. A lot of error reverses. One five one being very rude as per usual. One five one hotbox. It'd be like that. <laughs> it literally is the most fucking rude hotbox we have by a mile. Shiny treasure. Oh sweet! You got the Wug Boys, the Japanese Wug Boys, and a Toxtricity Baby Shiny and Glamora. Pretty good. Japanese Wug Boys is actually good. The English one is, you can pull every other fucking pack, but the Japanese one is like, you gotta fucking open three boxes to maybe get it. So this one's actually pretty good. The Japanese one is good. English one hard. Or uh, English one easy, Japanese one pretty hard. The boys on a Saturday night with their purple worms out. You gotta love it. Alrighty. Okay, where is bag? Did I put it in bag? Did I put in bag? I don't know. <laughs> we're going back to uh, we're going back to JP one five one Bill. JP one five one, come on, baby! Finally hit for us. Ten CJWF JP one five one. That's one fifty of value right there. Plus basic energy, basic energy, radiant guard of a radiant Alexander, nine tails, Mew, Zapdos, EX, SIR. 
I'd grade it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 10 JP151, 10 CJWF. Let's see. JP151, how many? Where are you, buddy? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. Radicate. Snorlax, is he? No, he's on there. Machoke. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's a Ditto Master Ball. Oh, shit. That's good. Wait, that's really good. Hold up. We want to get you situated. All right. Scyther, Sea King, Butterfree, Kabutops, Parasect, Mewtwo AR. All right. So, Ditto. We got a Master Ball. It's Ditto. That's good. Nice. Last one was Meowth. This one is Ditto. Ditto is actually very good. So, we like that. Ditto Master Ball. Sweet. That's really good to grade. I want to get that into a... Uh, here, let me get normal fucking top loaders. Real oh, they're right here. They're literally right to the left of me. Ditto, baby. How's he looking? How's Ditto look? He looks... Left to right, good. Top to bottom, good. Back, good. Ditto. I like it. I'm liking it, Ditto. Our boy Ditto looks solid. So I'm going to clearly give the one two and say great yield ditto. He looks good. 10 JP 151 solid that round. 10 CJWF. Cyber Judge Wild Force. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 CJWF. Let's see how it goes. Uh, Iron Boulder. Pika. Thorn. Farigaraf. I said Farigaraf. Macargo. Iron Leaves. Ma uh, Metagross. That's good. Iron Thing, Grandpa, Grandpa, and Baby Deer, <laughs> a.k.a. Deerling. All righty. Let's get these sleeved up. I like this Grandpa card, man. It's so fucking relaxing. Uh, That's an amazing stress relief task, right? <laughs> sleeve is destroyed. Damn. Yeah, the sleeve was fucked, but the card was beautiful. <laughs> I'd love to see the accountant's reaction. He'd probably be like, damn. I want to do this. <laughs> He's like, shit, this is cool. He's like, I want to be like that. I want to do that. This looks fun. He's like, can I open cards? Like, where do I get a, where do I get a Pokemons? The stressful year you deserve. Honestly, dude. Dude, beating like any kind of a uh, major like addiction. Dude, you need, you, you deserve the fucking world. That shit's ridiculous to, you know, a lot of people that don't, you know, a lot of people that don't. So that's awesome, brother. You deserve it, man. Enjoy yourself. Relax. 10 JP151. Again, 10 JP151. Are we going to finish the JP151 train? 10 JP151. 10 CJWF. All right. Caesar, Walking Wake. Fluttermane. Promo. Gouging Fire EX Full Art. And Prime Catcher. You guys know it's like 30 bucks in English right now? It's like 20 Pretty cool. Pre-release prices. <laughs> and on top of that... 10 JP151, 100, 10 CJ50. It's like a $200 bag. It's nice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Be good to us, CJWF. Don't hurt my feelings. Caesar Full Art. It's nice. A Spec. Charger Bug. Caesar. Iron Thorn. Incineroar. Iron Leave. Incineroar. Deer. Okay. <laughs> good. I like a good round, but like, you know, we've already seen a lot of those. 10 JP151. How many got left? 1, 2, 3, one, two, three 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 left. There was only 8 left? There's only 8 left. We're out of it. We got to run that incentive. <gasps> Holy shit. So we got to run the incentive for it. Mewtwo. <laughs> what the fuck? Arm Catcher Master Ball. What a guy. <laughs> we get another Master. Oh, Pika Reverse is good. Pika Reverse is solid. Jinx. And Mewtwo Reverse actually isn't too bad either. So these are the good pulls. Master Paul, Arm Catcher, and Pika Pika P. Every time I see that warped card, I think the stupid Snorlax promo. The rat. Wait, the warped card. The warped card. Or the wrapped card. The wrapped card. Oh my god. The f <laughs> oh my god. Do you guys remember the Snorlax days? Yield Snorlax promo days? I remember Snorlax promo days. Dude, the fact that every single Master Ball in the entire 151 Hotbox was amazing. And the last one is this. <laughs> the 
the irony. Still grade it, right? 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 No. <laughs> Don't grade that. Don't grade... I mean, unless you like it. Unless you like it, then you could. But, like, comes down to if you like it or not, really. All right, so we're going through a lot of these ones. Um, 10 CJ, WF. Come on now. Come on now. Let's get these out of here. We need to pull an SR from CJWF. Pulled a lot of uh, a lot of good shit from CJWF. We need to pull a Master Ball, though. 10 CJWF. Belly Bolt. Cleffa. Very cute card. Give it to the special lady. The ladies love Cleffa. And by the ladies, I mean my likes Cleffa. So. Prime Catcher. 30 bucks. Snom AR. And then Gouging Fire SIR. Beautiful. Now, these two, I would grade. These two right here. These guys, the Snom and the Gouging Fire. They're nice. Prime Catcher, I would just sell because it's very playable and people like it. 10 CJWF. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dude, I'm always one off. Prime Cat. I mean, it's it's a good card, so like I'm not bitching, but... All right, Prime Catcher. Iron Leaves. Litten. Very cute AR. Iron Boulder. Frigorath. Meltan. Super cute. A-Spec Cape. Caesar. <laughs> oh, this card, dude. This card is the fucking shit. This is so good. The Shift Tree is so good. This is the best Shift Tree artwork. That shit's tough. <laughs> so in that round, you actually did really well. You got a full art, AR, EX, A spec, AR, EX, EX, AR, full art, A spec. That was a good round. Next up, let's see. Oh, this looks like a familiar face. Krabby, Krabby, what were you? Krabby was mime, mime. Oh, is it a bait? Is it a bait and switch? Snorlax, Morpeko, Applin, Applin, Morpeko, Snorlax. And mimes. That was the mime bag. Krabby was the mime bag. We don't talk about the mime bag. We don't talk about the mime bag ever again. Don't talk about it. It never happened. It never occurred. We don't talk about the mime bag. All right? We don't. Horsey. Altaria. Hoopa. Gimme Ghoul. Giovanni's Charisma. And Charmeleon AR. Eh, it's okay, bag. It's all right. And then the last bag before the, the like, really nice ones. The last bag before the really nice ones is the Ninetales with Weird Ear, uh, Octillery, Drowsy, Gardevoir, and a Honchkrow V Altar. That was low, low tier. Or low mid? No, low tier. That was for sure low tier. All right. So I think overall this round was more value hot like higher value and more lower value ones versus more like consistent value which uh was nice right? <laughs> right means you're getting more out of it and if you didn't hit well you wouldn't have you know regardless <laughs> first slab up 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 on the fucking chopping block it is a beautiful v star universe pikachu secret rare Gem Mint 10. Very nice. Very beautiful. Take a look at it. Very nice slap. Well, you, we can see it. This is Squirtle. Squirtle was the uh, Squirtle was the uh, Pika. Very nice. Squirtle. Squirtle was a good one. Next up in this one, Bellsprout. 10 JP 151. So this is 10 JP 151. We don't have JP151. So what we'll do is we can we can put that into we can turn JP151 into like OG shiny treasure whatever one you want. Let me know in chat. What what do you want to put 10 JP151 into? OG shiny treasure uh V star. If you did it in V star, it might end the V star uh, kicking off the incentive for it. Which the incentive is really expensive. Or not really it's the Giratina. The Giratina gold, which is a very nice card. So 10 JP 151, whatever the difference is. 10 CJWF. And let's see what else is in here. This is a nice bag. My boy, Bellsprout. Yes, Bellsprout was the homie. Karidon, Farigaraf, Hero's Cape, Gengar, EX, Full Art, New Temporal Forces, and a nice Silver Deck First Edition Dragon or Dark Dragonair. Beautiful slap. 
These are the ones I would. I'd grade the Gengar. He's nice. Or <laughs> he's nice. <laughs> he's nice. <laughs> shiny treasure. Let's do it. So this is going to be 10 shiny treasure. And for the inconvenience, we'll give you an extra few. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We'll give you an extra two for the inconvenience of no more JP151. Pidgeot. Charizard. Coridon. Miraidon. Oh. Nimona. S-A-R. Okay, Nimona. What's good? <laughs> Nimona. S-A-R. Judge. I'm not judging. Alakazam, Weavile, Toad's Cruel, Wigglytuff, Alakazam, and Charizard. There's some nice hits there. Nimona, S-A-R. Nimona, solid. Solid pull. Nimona, Fiona. Wrong, uh, wrong IP. <laughs> That's Shrek. Fuck. The is good. Very nice pull. And you ready for it? It's a very expensive slab. The big boy slab. The big boy slab, Patty G. Was a beautiful Tidal Storm first edition Kyogre EX full art in a Gemint 10. This is about a $700 slab. This is like the Chase Kyogre card for a lot of people. <laughs> it's fucking insane. <laughs> this slab is nuts. This is just a beautiful fucking slab. <laughs> this is insane. If you're a Kyogre fan, you're going to be very, very happy right now. This is a beautiful, beautiful slab. Uh, it's just nuts. <laughs> it's nuts. It actually might be up listings for more right now. Maybe closer to eight. But... I know personally, I see lots of sales around the 700 mark. Uh, I think I got mine. Or I think I got this specific one for like six, but that's because I had to barter with the guy. This is a beautiful, beautiful slab. Title Storm First Ed Gemit 10 Full Art Kyogre EX from Japanese XY5, which is uh, Title Storm. Yeah, so it says it right there. Am I an idiot? How are we going to ship this? How am I going to ship all this? insured in a medium flat rate uh best way to go about it and that's if you're stopping here patty g you might have some individuals in the next round that want to actually uh battle you all right so let's take a look here there's some cards i would i would highly suggest grading in this bunch so title storm v star secret rare pika dark dragonair total value of all these is probably somewhere close to like I'd say around 12, which is nice. Then a lot of stuff I'd send off for grading. A lot of stuff I'd send off for grading. Nimona SAR, Gengar Full Art, Snom Full Art, or Snom Illustration Rare, Gouging Fire SAR, Ditto Master Ball, Zapdos SIR, Bianca's Devotion Full Art. <laughs> I just like him. <laughs> I like that one too. Mew V Max Alternative Art, Charizard EX Full Art, Iono SIR, some beautiful ones. There's probably other stuff I missed for grading as well, too, amongst this heap of cards. I only got to move my move the moon amongst this heap of cards to the left of or to the right of me. There's a lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff. Um, we got to get all this situated. I'm going to make you a medium flat rate right now. I'm going to get you a medium flat rate right now. Put all of it in and label it. If that Mew comes missing, it wasn't me. <laughs> you know, there's nothing that happened. Let me make the medium flat right now. This will be easy. So you can put it all in there and it'll be all secure. So what we'll do is this. We make our medium flat. And then I'll take, actually a bunch of our normal boxes and I'll get them in there like this here I'll, sh I'll show you what I'm doing so you guys can see so I'm gonna take our normal boxes like this I'm gonna make them up oh hit my head so you do this I'll show you it's really simple why did I why did I do that <laughs> this is difficult to do when I'm like trying to do it under here but it's a challenge at the same time so I'm kind of into it like this 
simple, easy, let's go. Like that. Same situation here. Like so. Do this. So, and come on now, Ugh, like that. Now this should be able to fit all of this. How many lucky bags are there now? Contemplating another buyout, all to support the homie. There is another 30, uh, 30 rounds. There is another 30 rounds. So if you wanted to, I'm not going to argue against it. I will tell you there is a there is a damn near 1k bag in this next round. Um, if you did buy it out, what I would then do is make another the next round after that I'd try to make another 1k bag as well or damn near close to for everybody else who wanted to do them tonight. But if you want to do another buyout man, by all means do it. Cuz it's like it's not like if you do it everyone's like, "Oh, I wanted to get in on the 1k round. I'll just make another 1k round." It's easy. It's simple. <laughs> Do I have more for ship? No, dude, you're fine. You're good. So let's get all these in here real quick. This should be the E. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them in here for now to just get them in here, right? And then once they're in here, uh, and then once we get them ready for shipping, we can get all the, like, specifics of it. You know what I mean? Like, try, like getting them all padding, all the types of uh, stuff we need for protection. That's, that's, the, that's what we do next. Right now, we just want to get them in there and make sure everything's all situated. We know where it is. Like this. Easy. So that's all the non like crazy hits. And then for the crazy hits, I'm going to get another bag. We can actually just use this one. We'll just, we're going to use the Hypno bag since Hypno was the boy. So 10 bucks. Thank you. Yes, sir. 10 schmackaroonies. Doesn't matter how much. That's the good thing. Doesn't matter how much you have here with us. If you have a fuck ton of shit and say shipping would normally cost you like 20, 30 bucks because of the amount of stuff you have, it's always 10. You know what I mean? Okay, but what about a lucky bag buyout battle? I mean, if you guys, if two of you want to gladly spend 3k each, I'm not against it. I just have to make a new round. But then again, that would be kind. That wouldn't really work too well, because then I'd, it'd be hard for me to be like, oh, you know, like oh, I already, I would already know who would win because I'm like making the bag on hand. It, it wouldn't be fair unless we just coin flipped it. That'd be the, that'd be the, dif the differential, the differentiate in that. Uh, there we go. Uh, whew, tight space. All right. Lol Chapa. Lol Kai. <laughs> you guys are funny as shit. All right. So then we're going to use this one for this. So now this specific box is going to be for the slabs, but I want to do it in a certain way. I want to do it like this. I prefer to do this. Alrighty. We'll get this here. These like this. Nama got a donk. <laughs> Yo, chill with it. Mine's gonna be coming for you guys. Watch it out. Alright, let me do it like this. This is the same, basically what I'm doing with your expensive slabs is I am putting them in here the same way I send stuff out to BGS and PSA. Same exact way. Now we just got a label. Do I have my... I left it over there. Yeah, I did. Alrighty. Sweet, sweet. Alright, so we're just going to write here. Uh, slabs. Um... And others. All right. And then we grab this guy right here. And right here. And then all we got to do come time is pad it all up. We're gonna right here. 
So this is what we have so far for you, Patty G. I don't want to put that right there. And if you get more, we'll keep filling it up. Alrighty. All right, let's keep it going. Wait, fix this. So the next round of LBs. So I'm going to, here's how we'll do this. Here's how we'll do this. So there is, here's what I would do. I would do something. And this is something that I personally, I've been fighting with. I've been, I've have I've been having an internal battle with it, but I would do it under these circumstances. If only if, if Patty G decides to buy out this specific round of lucky bags, I will personally put in the next round, I will put a slab over a thousand dollars market right now that I genuinely fucking love. And deep down in my heart, I do I really want to get rid of it? It's like one of those slabs I battle with, but I, I got really lucky grading it. It is a Pokemon I absolutely love. Don't worry, my... It's not any of your slabs. It's, it's specifically my slab. However, I will tell you, it is a Gengar. It's a specific Gengar that I got really lucky grading. I think market lowest price is like $1,200. After fees, it's probably going to be about a $1,300 slab. I would put that in the following round. So... That is what I will do. If he, if Patty G does decide to do another buyout, I will do that. That I, You have my word. It is a Gengar. And it's one of the lowest pop 10 Gengars on market. It's one of the lowest population Gengars. It is, and it's a fucking expensive ass card. It's a very, very expensive card. The Dark Gengar, it is not the Dark Gengar. That's my baby. You ain't taking my baby. I will say that right now. That is what I will say. I will say that. Dude, this tea's fucking good. I want to help the community, so I'll think about it for like 30 minutes. Sounds good, brother. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> Thank you so much for buying out that round, brother. Thank you so much. So what we'll do is... Uh, I have to get the next round of LBs. So what we here's what we can do. We can do this. It's the Dream Eater. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know what you're I don't even know what card that is. Right now, we gotta do the uh <laughs> We have to do the uh, JP151 hot box as well as the V Star Universe hot box incentives. That's what we got to do right now. So we're going to do that right now before we get into restocking LBs and all that stuff, all that kind of stuff. So we got to do the incentives. Uh, JP151 incentive, Machamp V Alternative Art. And V-Star Universe Incentive Giratina V-Star. Sweet. Should make a video short of your collection. I always want to see what's in these displays. Dude, the thing is, so a lot of my collection isn't here. And a lot of it also, like literally right now, I think I've sent like three to 400 things out currently right now at PSA and BGS. Like stuff I've been sitting on for a fucking minute. So like... Within the next couple, like the next month, maybe, like the collection is going to get pretty fucking wild. It's just, I got to, we got to see how the grades go. You know, we got to see. Do I get entered? Yes, you are. You are completely entered. 100%. So let's get all the entrance in, shall we? Let's get all the entrance in. So everybody that's done a lucky bag since the beginning of time. So since we got, we're gonna go. We're gonna go buy it literally manually. We're gonna do it one at a time to get all the entries. All right. I hope y'all are cool with that. So let's take a look. Let's look at the wheel up. 
There's an easy way for me to find out. There's a very easy way for me to find out when we started our old incentives. The question is, when do we start our incentives? When do we start our incentives? Let's find out. When did the incentives begin? Okay, so it wasn't more than a month ago. I want to say our incentives began. Wait, let me see. Did they be, were they this day? Okay, so they were before this. They were on, I want to, I want to say here. I want to, I want to say it's, I don't want to say it was this day. Like a month, I think it was like a month ago. Yeah. I think it was this day. This exact day. Let me see. Um, it wasn't this day. Was it, uh, I think it was eight, like four weeks ago. It was either f three or four weeks ago. Let me find out. I can tell you guys in a in a literal minute. No, it might have been. It, let's see. Where was it? Oh, it was right here, maybe. Right here, I see it. So it was on the date of. It would have been the date of three. Three, four. So if I go back into PayPal all the way back to 3-4, so March 4th, and keep going up, then that's when I will, if I count every single $100 plus order, I'll know it's a lucky bag. And then I'll know to add that. And that's how we do it. That's how we don't miss a single one. That's how there's no room for like error on my end. And that's when the incentives started. That's when the incentives started. That's crazy. The incentives have only been here for about a month. Isn't that fucking wild? Only a month and they're done. Because those boxes were fucking filled, dude. There's lucky bag incentives now? Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, yeah, there is. There's lucky bag. Anytime you do a lucky bag, you get entered to every single incentive that we have. That's like the benefit. Whenever you do a lucky bag, you get entered into every single incentive currently going on. Alrighty, let's get everybody entered. So back beginning of March 4th. So we're going to start right here. Actually, technically it would be March 3rd because that, that would be the night. So we got to start off with... Oh, where did he go? I wonder where he went. I'm just going to go... We're just going to do one at a time in order of the, the orders I'm seeing. I'm just going to move from there. We're going to move like a fox. So it's going to be one entry at a time based on like orders. It's going to be interesting. Is that a... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Dude, literally the... <laughs> it's crazy. Let's keep it going. Alrighty. Dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Let's get everybody entered. We got to get every single one. So it's a little tedious right now. I apologize for that. But it's part of the process. It's ma it makes sure I don't miss anybody since that date. Since the date we started it. If anybody's like, yo, I had more entry or something. I'll Bro, I got it to a T. I actually know I got it to a literal T this time, which is nice. So, you know. Who the fuck is... I don't know who that is, but... We're gonna write him down. <laughs> that was Kieran. Damn, a lot of entries, man. A lot of entries.
Who the fuck? <laughs> I don't know who the fuck that is. Dude, uh, we said it yesterday. Who the fuck is Deborah? <laughs> who is Deborah? <laughs> who is Deborah? I don't know who Deborah is, bro. But thank you, Deborah. I think you got a lucky bag at some point. Or whoever's purchasing under Deborah on PayPal. Thank you. I don't know who it is, though. <laughs> I genuinely have no idea who it is in chat. Um, all righty, let's see. Oh, that one didn't go through. Damn, I was going to count Edwin, but his didn't go through. I feel like Edwin's is going to come through, and it's not like we can... Uh, but it didn't, it didn't technically come through, so I can't. Fuck. I'd have liked to get Edwin in on that, but I can't. I got to follow rules. Fuck. Oh. Okay. Uh, takes in... Alrighty. Francisco. Eric. He he. Ryan. Oh, that's Effin. It's Effin. Eric. Ian. Ian. Um, da, 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 da. let's see. And then tonight it was just Patty. Patty G. Ten. Twenty. Uh, <laughs> tedious process, right? And boom! All right. We done did it. The lo we <laughs> We literally have every single... Did, did you keep track of all the battle wins, though? Every single one. Every it's, it's, it's actually kind of fucking wild, the amount we have here. It's actually pretty ridiculous. And that should be good. Okay. All righty. And let's double check here. Battle wins are accurate. I, I didn't miss a single one. I didn't miss one. All right, sweet. Fuck yeah, baby. All right. Y'all ready? I'm excited, man. Seems so much more an inconvenience to making a spreadsheet. Fucking probably. All right, here we go. You ready? So this is it. Take a look. This is how the wheel be looking. 103. It's fucking wild. All right. As you can see, a lot of your names are here. A lot of your names are here. A lot of times. A lot of you are in here a lot. A lot of you are in here a lot. So we're going to get this rolling. This is strictly based on the PayPal purchases from the date we started it of a lucky bag. And then all of the battle wins on top of that. So if somebody did get one or didn't get one, etc. All right. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. This one is going to be for the Giratina V-Star Gold. The winner is going to be. Russ. <laughs> Russ. Nice. And the winner... For the Machop or Machamp V alternative art is gonna be nice, Russ. Who's the winner of the other one? Ty 
Tyson. Tyson is going to win the Machamp V Alternative Art. Now, if you guys are like, no, all my entries, don't worry, they stay. They stay until all of the incentives are done. So the winners of the V-Star incentive is Russ. And Machamp <coughs> is going to go to Tyson. Nice. All righty. Let's get those in your bags. Bags? <laughs> Yo. All right. <clears throat> Dude. Ugh. Ugh. Dummy forgot my name. I don't think I did. Take a look. I don't believe so. Because we started it right before we left. <laughs> yeah, smart as you. Yours were on March 2nd. We started it on March 3rd at night, going into March 4th. <laughs> so I have it here on PayPal. So if I go back to the March 2nd stream, let me find out. I could find out real quick. March 2nd stream. Am I going to enter nightly 270 times? Yes. <laughs> so I go back to the March 2nd stream. This would have been right here. Yeah, the March 2nd stream, we don't have any incentives. We have a nightly, but we don't have the, what's it called? We don't have those ones. <laughs> yeah, we had a nightly, but we didn't have those ones. All righty. And he because we had a nightly for a Zard, and we had uh, an entry or a Bianca. We had a uh, Bianca and a Zard for when you were doing it smart as you, and both of those already got rolled. <laughs> yeah, it was a Bianca SAR where Lucky Bags got incentive entries too, and then the Charizard SIR. You include them, right, Dama? Yes, I got yours, Franco. So the winners are going to be Russ and Tyson. Sweet. So I'm going to put these in Russ and Tyson's bags. We just kind of organized stuff uh, earlier, or last night, I believe. Everything behind me is, like, organized. So I'm going to find Russ and Tyson. I believe we already just shipped out Russ. To... Did we just ship out Russ this week? I think so. So we're going to have to make Russ a new bag, and then Tyson, we're going to get him situated right now. We'll put this in Tyson's bag. Tyson has a lot of bags here, though. And then Russ, we'll make Russ a new bag, man. Alrighty. Russ, new bag. Sweet. All right, so now we have to get the new rounds situated. Uh, all right, we got to get the new round situated. Stream lagging. FPS lagging. Let me see. FPS lagging or is it good? FPS seems good on my end. It looked weird for a second on the one screen. All righty. Now nah, everything's good. Okay. Sweet. So now what we got to do. What the fuck? There we go. So now what we got to do is get into the next. Dude, I need fucking water. <laughs> Ugh. Whoo. There we go. T helps. H in my throat. So what I have to do now is get into the uh, next round of LBs. We have to name them or assign them. Unless somebody, like I said, I will still do the offer where Patty G, if you want to buy them out, you can. And if you do, I will put in... 
I'll put in my Cardis Gengar 10 into the next round following. There is a about 1K bag in this current upcoming round, but I would make the next round after that if this round was bought out. The, the, the value of the Cardis Gengar 10 is around like market right now if you want to buy it. It's solo pop 10, so you can't... It's not one of those cards where you can go off of like per, like every sale as like, that's the finite price. You can't do that with it. You have to go off market with it because that's what it is at currently. Um, and the current value of it is around 1200 And then if you wanted, you know, all your fees shipping after that on eBay, it's going to be out 13 So that's how much it's about. So... It's something you gotta, you know what I mean? Something you gotta think about when we're going into it. If we put them in there, that's what's gonna happen. That's what's inevitably gonna occur. So that should be good. Should be good besides that. All right. All righty. All right. FPS is fine. I keep seeing it spike. Is it spiking on your guys' end? I think we're fine. I'm just going to assume we're fucking good. So, either I can name them up ugh, right now, or we can do a little buyout. Let's see. You can put Russ in mine. He said it's okay. <laughs> Hello. Who wants to do a 10v10 lucky bag battle? Yo. Yeah. Is this also Hotbox? It was the it was the incentives for the specific boxes. Um, and the boxes were used for like the LBs, right? So anytime you did an LB, there was a chance you could get like a 10 CJWF or 10 OG or 10 Shiny Treasure. And every time you would get one of those, right? That's how the box would go down, right? You could buy the boxes, but I think we called early on because they weren't a lot of them weren't moving, that we just weren't going to count entries for buying the boxes outright. So we just kept it towards when the box just emptied and how you got entries was inevitably through LBs over the past month. We still, I'm pretty sure we still were counting entries for the, the boxes when people would buy them. So that was another way, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I kind of went back on that because I thought early on we said we weren't going to do it that way because people just weren't buying the boxes beyond the, the actual LBs. But we got, we got, I'm pretty sure we got everybody for the, uh, the rounds for, uh, the normal boxes and then the lucky bags. The lucky bags are the big one though. That, that was the one I had to look out for. Uh, let's see. Dom, I mean, you forgot my name. Oh, yeah, no, I already got that. What about everyone that bought into those boxes? The hot boxes? Yeah, we got most of the hot boxes. Almost, I, if I missed fucking one random individual who, like, bought one hot box once. <laughs> fucking, uh, you know, they're probably not even ever coming back, you know, or here to just be like, yo, reroll, you know what I mean? Um... So I'm not too I'm not too fucking worried about that. Everybody, I got pretty much everybody. Pretty I got pretty much fucking everybody. Let's see. Nice Heisen Haywin, nice congrats. There's two. I'm so lost. Yeah, that was the uh the lucky or the lucky bag. Not the lucky bag incentive, but the incentive for JP151 and V Star. It's just Ralby, is there a good Tyson? Dom, who's what's pumping right meow? What's pumping? Ugh. OG, I'd say. I'm going to enter the nightly 270 times. Yes. Respin! LMAO definitely would have given up on those entries. Uh, when what Then what boxes did those go to? Yeah, the Bianca Charizard. You included them, right, Dom? I'm just making sure. Yes. I mean, the people that bought from the boxes directly. Yes. Even though, again, I think I went against that. I think we still added all of them. Even though I'm pretty positive a stream early on, we said we weren't going to. But I think we still ended up doing it because it was like... We've been doing it. Let's do a 10 v 10 lucky bag. Is this also Hotbox? No, not Hotbox. Not OG. Or er, not OG, not Shiny Treasure, not Cyber Judge. Choppa Nusen does Patty. Choppa Nusen v Patty. 15 v 15. Yo. If you pay for mine, Patty. JK. <laughs> Last round included people who bought directly. Yes. If I did miss, like I said, if I miss somebody. Let me know. 
We'll find some kind of... I don't know. We can figure it out. I don't think he counted them. I did. I got I got pretty much fucking everyone. Like I said, if I did miss you, and you can let me know, then we can we can take a look. You slap battle. You're a good dama. I'll buy 10 to 15 of them. She's 15 to 15. That's wild. Let's do it. Like I said, male. Take a look. It reminds me of night. I fuck it. <laughs> I don't remember ever hearing that. Ever hearing what? That I was adding them? Yeah, because the primary ones I was focusing on were the lucky bags. Because those ones were the those are the primary fucking ones. Those are the ones I had to pay attention to. All the other ones were easy. You could tell when it was a, a hot box because it was like ten fuck. It was like ten dollar order. So all I have to do is quick right click off and then you're good. The only person I can think of that might not have been on it. Hold up. The So the only person I actually might have missed for a specific one might have been Edwin. Something I remember Edwin buying V-Star. But I don't see Edwin on here. So the only person I, would, I actually might have missed might have been Edwin. Hmm. So for the V-Star, we actually might have to do a reroll. I think for the V-Star, we'll actually have to do a reroll. The other one's fine, but the V-Star one... Is a reroll, I think. Let me look. Yeah, Edwin had 13. So we got to do a reroll for V Star, actually. And I got to get Edwin in. And all right, we got 13 in for Edwin. All right, sweet. So we have to do a reroll for V Star, actually. Yeah, because I'm looking here on V Star Uni. I have everybody else's who was in on the V Star Uni incentive, but Edwin. Edwin had 13. And I didn't have Edwin on wheels, so we got a reroll. You ready? So we got a reroll real quick. Hopefully, you guys are prepared. Edwin, thank you for calling that out, man. See, that's why I like it when you guys call shit out, because sometimes I miss things. I actually got... Dude, I'm so happy. I actually got everybody, because we do have it in a spreadsheet right here, like all the names and all that shit, but Edwin had 13, and we missed out on that. Right, Actually, real quick, before we roll it, let me just confirm with Edwin that 13 is the correct number. Edwin, let me know in chat. 13 is correct, right? Yeah, let me know, Edwin. Let me just double check. And that should be X that. Yeah, it should be good. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Let's see. What else did I miss? I can't. I would say chopping a noose and does Patty. What was that for? If you pay mine, Patty, uh, do a slab battle. You're good, Dama. Hey, I appreciate you. My homie Chopper. Uh, Patty, you buying out? Do it. Do it. Do it. 75, 25 chance you will. Fucking do it. Never heard that announcement. Seems like multiple people don't recall that either. We did it like... I think we did it early one night pre... Like a stream pre when we were doing... Or getting like raided. When uh, Ryan was doing all his um, first streams. I think early into one of those nights. I remember us talking about it. Because the, the boxes were literally not fucking moving. That was like... When we were doing those LB rounds, we didn't even have like 10 CJW, 10 shiny, 10 this and that. We didn't have any of that. And the boxes were fucking sitting. It was like only lucky bag orders all night. So I was like, well, we got to move these. So we ended up just saying, we're probably not going to do it. But then literally, I think later that night, we got an order on a box. And I was like, well, fuck it. We're going to keep doing it. You and I have Dama put his gangi in the LBs. Do it. Fucking do it. You won't. I don't have a good time with rerolls. <laughs> how many entries did I have? I'll check how many 1v1 or V-Star I got. I'm giving up. Tyson, Tyson, you're fine. You're keeping the... Uh, aren't, yeah, Tyson, you're fine. You keep your... Uh, my champ. The... The the fuck was it? Giratina. The Giratina is the one that's got to get rerolled. Did I buy JP151? You might have gotten JP151 in a lucky bag. But, again, we don't know if Smart As You has gotten the slab yet. Once they do, then we can get to your injuries. 
How much would some box of V Star Universe? How much so would some box of v, v Star Universe cost me? Um, it depends how many you're buying. My luck is ass when I when I win when I don't wait. My luck is ass when when I win I don't win. SM <laughs> oh, thank God. Yeah, no, you're fine, Tyson. I made an order 20 minutes ago. Fuck your order. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, Macus. All right, let's take a look. Macus made an order for 30 schmackaroonies and said. Let's look. CJWF Hotbox. Okay. We, we can do that. CJWF Hotbox from Mac. It's easy. We'll do this real quick, and then we'll do the reroll. <laughs> CJWF. Hold up. CJWF. $30 worth of CJWF. Sweet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mac is... Mime. Brand... Oh, it's a pump. Mac is... That's a pump! That's a pump, Mac is... Macus, I feel bad though. So you know what I'm gonna do for you? I got this cute little origami in an order from Japan. I'm gonna give you the origami. It's a little crane. It's cute. <laughs> That's a pump round. Uh, I bought JP151. I just don't know when I did. That doesn't help me, Luca. I want to see my message, Dama, when I link the clip. No, I can't. I can't see the message. Charge back, Mac. <laughs> Wait, what the f why, why do I see? Why do I see Luca talking about HIV in the Discord? <laughs> Anyways, all right. So let's get going on the respin. We got to do the reroll. Y'all ready? Is everybody ready for a reroll on the V-Star Universe incentive? Is a lucky bag incentive rolling tonight? Lucky bag incentive rolled twice already. Two uh, lucky bag incentives have already rolled. Also, it's good, Darth. How you doing? I'll put in Discord then so you don't have to reroll again. Let's see. And they're all specific to their things, like the Lucky Bag, boom. Cyber Judge Wild Force, Lugia. Machamp V, JP151. V Star, well, you know. Shiny Treasure, boom. But here's the catch. If you do Lucky Bags, you get incentive entries to all of them. Which night was this? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's double check. Let's do a yield. They're all specific to. Yield validation. Hold up. Two weeks ago, 438. Which stream was this? Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Here, let's double check. Dun, 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 I think that... All right. Hold up. But here's the cat. All good stuff. I'm going to say. The X... Tito and EX... Or... Watches us. Boxes are solid. A lot of people pull... And you don't pull the chase. I got to see Let's when Smart... You. If this was the stream that Smart as you made the order. Big old fire. Double check. X7Q like after Claudio was... I oh, mean, Tyler, what's good, Tyler? How you doing, man? So smart as you, wait, can you, smart as you, can, if you can link me that you, that was the stream you made your orders. If you can link me, like, when you made your order that stream, then we can figure that out. Hey, about one eight five one hotbox back in March 3rd. Yeah, Franco, we got you for the 151. You were good for that. Uh, I'll put in Discord when you don't say reroll. So reroll. I included shipping for my LB. Then last night, JB doesn't cover that. Or is wait? I included shipping for my LB. Then last night, I got JB one five one. Is that cover or is it separated? Should be all your LB. Yeah, no, we got you for last night, or we got you for your entries today, Mark. I believe. Yeah, because you are you are Mace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mac has said mail. It would be to my benefit to ask for a reroll. <laughs> Max, are you able to answer that? It's the February 29th stream. Not sure if I was if. 
it was even before that. February 29th stream. January, fe wait. February 29th stream for what? For the, hold up. The February 29th stream would have been almost 22 days ago. Let's check. 22 days ago. Da, 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 da. February 29th stream would have been right. Let's go to our lives. Do, do, do. February 29th. So the stream you linked me was two weeks ago. Right? Tyler said, smart as use orders are from March 2nd. I'm trying to figure this the fuck out. I'm sure if we was so smart as you are you are you telling I'm just gonna straight up I'm just gonna be we're just gonna let's cut the bullshit. Are you telling me that I did not get your entries? Is that what you're trying to tell me? If you're telling me that, just straight up let me know in chat. Cyber Judge Wild Force, Lugia. Machamp V, JP151. V Star. That's linking the the incentives. Yeah, just let me know. Just let me know. Just be straight with me. I linked the full stream if that makes it. Yeah, so so just be straight with me. Did I miss giving you your entries for the uh the what's it called? For the roll. Is that what you're is that what you're telling me? Russ, you fuck off, Marcus. Russ did win, but we might have to reroll. Is why I don't want to cause a headache for me personally. It's okay, but I'm sure there's others that bought bags during that time. Yeah, we... So, he... Wait, he did? So, I'm like... Okay, I'm... Huh. The stream smart as you spent was in the last day of February. So, the, the that specific stream, the last day of February, right? The last day of February would have been this stream. The fact YouTube streams doesn't give me exact dates anymore. All they fucking give me is like two weeks ago. It's like, well, two weeks ago means. Is this the, is this the stream you bought? Hold up. Let me see real quick. Double check. Do, 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 do. Now I see a card behind it. I see that Zard, but do I see the, what's it called behind it? Is all the others behind it as well? If so, we gotta double check this shit. Wait. So all I see is Raging Bolt and Zard. So on the, the stream three weeks ago, I just see Raging Bolt and Zard incentives. And then the stream you linked me, YouTube's telling me that stream was two weeks ago. So there's no way that could be February 29th. So like I'm trying to figure this the fuck out. Check Discord Nama. I here, let me check it. Uh but ba 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 Click on show more in description. Gotcha. Uh, Franco, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> So for February 29th, February 29th. So let's go into PayPal. Let's go back to February 29th. So let's see if we, if we missed February 29th, if that was a date we missed, who would we have missed? Let's see. So if we started February 29th, a lot of people, man. A lot of, let me see. Let me, let me actually take a look. February 29th, February 29th. Oh, so, so it was this day. 
So it was this day. So it was this stream. It was this stream. It was literally this stream. So February 29th was this stream. Literally this stream. So if I don't see the incentives in this stream... What is that right there? They do. They are there. I see the bitch. I see the fucking Lugia peeking. Look. We've cracked the code, baby. I see the fucking Lugia peeking right here. The incentives were on the 29th. <gasps> YouTube. You fucking cucked me. All right. Yeah, no, we got a reroll. So here's what we can do. Here's what we can do. There's a couple options here. We have some options here. We do have some options here. So for February 29th, let's take a look. On February 29th, let's take a look for orders just to validate. So for specific people who bought Lucky Bags, it was on the 29th of Febu February, it was... Primarily Tyson, smart as you. It looks like you did like a few. So it's primarily just Tyson and smart as you. For like LBs, right? Because that gives you entries into both. And then for like specific boxes. Just double check because I know this. That's for Cyber. That's for 151. And then there was a 151 for Franco. Franco did a 151. A single 151. And then let me see. Did Franco do another 151 here? Let's figure all this out. No, nope, that's Cyber Judge. Oh, wait, no. That, that order from Franco wasn't even on the 29th. That was actually another date. So that's a, that's a whole other date. That actually, that one doesn't even, that, that one was already included. So for the February 29th, it's it's literally like only fucking um it's like literally only Tyson and Smart as you, I think. Yeah, it's like literally only Tyson and Smart as you. The only other like order, if I'm looking correctly, would be from a Claudio. What did Claudio get? Claudio got shiny treasure. Okay. And then we have Darien, which I think Darien's Darth Darien. And Darien got a LB, I think. So we actually missed Darien, Tyson, smart as you. And then I think that's it, really? Because everybody else got like other shit that wasn't what we just rolled. Let's see. Let's read chat. What am I missing? Um, I'm thinking about it. Max. What's in the OG? The OG is just a random hodgepodge, but it's good. It's fun. I'm scared, Patty G. Mac is about to burst. Oh, for the Latias? Dang. <laughs> fuck. Russ, fuck! <laughs> Check my payments, too. Uh, I bought one of the side boxes, too, then. I bought a lucky bag March 1st. Two lucky bags, same night. Yeah, so Darth got 20 entries he needs. Well, two because of based on lucky bags. Cray Cray Knight. Dude, uh, incentives are a bitch, man. I need to hire somebody to keep track of incentive shit for me. It'd be it'd be much easier. Not the Latias. Oh, shit. I think what we're going to do instead of this from here on out is something different. We're going to try and do something different that's easier to work with. All right. So what we're going to have to do is go back to the old wheel. To the ye old wheelhouse. We're gonna have to do this again. All right. So we're gonna have to do this again. But how we have to do this is interesting. So I'm gonna fix the wheel. We have to fix it. We have to re-roll fucking shit. All right. We 
We gotta add all the ones to the wheel. All the shit, we gotta fix it. Fix, 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 fix. As long as it's correct, that's the bottom line. We need it to be correct. We need it to be correct. It's not correct. We have to do a reroll. However, I will say after this, here's what we're going to do after this. After this, before we do this next reroll for both, if you were owed like a fucking single entry for any box or something, and you don't speak up, it's it's gone. Because right now we're the only other date we would have missed would have been the 29th. And we're getting all that situated and added in. And then we're getting the ones Edwin was owed. So post that. If you, if there's anyone you're missing, you have until I'm, I set this up and ask, does anybody have anything else to say? If anybody is missed, post the roll. It's gone. I feel like we've got, we've had enough time for everybody to be like, yeah, I need, you know, X, Y, Z for this. So now we got to make it doubles so that we can do this. And then we got to add in Darth with 10 here. 10 here for Darth and Darth. This is Darth Darian. And then we have four. What's it called? Let's double check. Let's read chat. Uh, da, 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 da. No matter, both doing box now because I don't want to wait. Let me see. Oh, this was from the, was this from the, that was from that stream. Oh, here we go. Now I can read chat. I would have Maccus keep count. Maccus, I I'm about at Maccus. Can I pay you to do this for me? I'm about to. This is your fault for being super sure that you didn't miss a single person. It inevitably is my fault. Yes. But it was kind of like it was a silly fuck up. It wasn't like uh, an ego fuck up. It was more like a silly fuck up. Because on YouTube, for me, the, the date that I was using for when we started the incentives was not the 29th. And that was my reference, was for the uh, March 2nd stream. But then we went back to check the 29th stream because Smart As You had linked it and we did have the incentives there. So it was more like, a, oh, we didn't have it the 29th. But we did. It's primarily the 29th. The one I did fuck up was Edwin, though. That was the one I did fuck up. GG's, though. Too much work for you. It's, it's a lot of fucking work. It is what it is, though. I would need to be aware of entries are being counted. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out, Marcus. We'll figure it out. So, Dom, do I get more entries since the 29th now? Yeah, Tyson, you're going to get 77 more entries into both. So, your odds just statistically got better for both, right? We're just going to add it like this just to make it fucking... We're going to do it like this. So, we're going to add Tyson increments of 10 for 7 more. Like this. few more I wish there was like a system that could keep there probably is right there's there's probably a system that I could use for this and last two so we got Tyson's 77 added entries we got Darth's added 20 we had Edwin, Edwin's added 13 let's see uh, thank you it's hard for me to catch your stream I shouldn't be staying up there. <laughs> I feel you brother thank you for even being here man I said free to, I'm a wall. I'm going back. My <laughs> fell asleep halfway every stream. Do I get a pity win for vibes? Yeah, Russ and Tyson, I'm gonna hit you guys up with some like for for the confusion and the fuck up. I'll hit I'll hit Tyson and Russ up with some uh with some free little freebies. Um everybody else though. Nah, we'll do we'll do fucking yeah, Russ and Tyson, because they got fucked over. And that's on me. So we're gonna make sure Russ and Tyson are like you know, situated. I'm around from beginning to end every night. Yeah, Maccus is always here. Funny Excel, imagine using it. So just see, I have much lower odds now. <laughs> yeah, Patty, no! 
Patty, quick, buy out the next round of LBs and you're good. <laughs> Watch my luck be as again. Nah, Tyson's about to turn around. All right, so we added all the extra rounds that were lacking. We, fi we fixed it up. So we got all the stuff for February 29th, right? Let me double check one more time. All right, let me check one more time. Inevitably, at the end of the day, though, gamers, at the end of the day, this was your boy's mess up. I'll take it on the head, right? But we will be hi hi uh, hooking up Russ and Tyson with a... Uh, to make up for this, to make up for this, I'm going to hit up Russ and Tyson with a free lucky bag on me for the fuck up. Because both of you would have won, like... Almost like $100 cards, right? I feel bad about that. So what I'm going to do is hit you up with basically the equivalent of that, which is a $100 lucky bag. So Tyson and Russ, you both are going to get a $100 lucky bag on me no matter what happens in this roll. I apologize for that. We do have to re-roll both of these, though. All right? Smart as you. Did I make it in this time? Yeah, smart as you. You're good. You're in on this one. So we got to do, let's go back to February 29th and just validate. We didn't fuck up. So February 29th. February 29th. And that should be that. And then right there. I Like, I don't think we have anybody else missed. But let me know. Again, like I said, if you're in chat, let me know. Let me know. If you're in chat and you think you are you have been missed on February 29th, let me know. All right. If you think I have missed you, the people that we missed on February 29th in particular were um Tyson Tyson smart as you um Darth and I think I we had like a we, we had like a one more maybe, but it was like for one entry, but I think I got it. I forget who it was. I can always double check. I don't... Let me just scroll down real quick. Go through February 29th to validate. But Tyson and Russ will be getting a lucky bag on me. And yeah, so February 29th. Yeah, the only other individual that like made an order, but I don't think it was for either of these, was... Yeah, it was... It was yeah, it was Elijah, but it was to grade. So yeah. I mean, it's like 500... <laughs> <laughs> uh, just don't also give me too many by accident. I had 700, but only 500 of it was used. The other 200 was turned into credit. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll take two away because I was about to give you seven. Or I have seven in here for you. Do I? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I have seven. One, two, three, four, five. All right. We got you. So it's situated. Um, so now I think we're good. Let's just validate really quickly. Mr. Tyler, what did, I'm pretty positive it was you that did not buy. You did, you got that. Yeah, you got... Okay. Yeah, so we're we're situated now. I think we're good. So you got all from the 29th to the 3rd. Those were all the days that were missed. No, I, we already had the 3rd in there. We missed the 29th. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we had the 3rd. So the 29th through to the 3rd. And everything should be good. And like I said, the primary individuals that got missed there were Smart As You, uh, Smart As You, Ty and Tyson were the big ones. But there were like, there were other ones. There was like, you know, I think Kieran had a bag, right? Um, Franco had some like smaller ones and then a bag. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was the night, that was the night David, that was the night David, David R pulled up and was telling us that we didn't know how to ship things out. That was a good one. <laughs> Do we give David his entries? That's the real question. That's the real question. Do you guys are, if anybody knows the David lore, if anybody knows the David lore, Chapel 15 for 15 lucky bag battle. Do it. Do it. All righty. So like I said, I think everything's situated. Everything's finalized. Everybody got their 
entries, and I think, I think we, technically David gets, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Technically David didn't break any rules. The only thing is, if David wins, I think, like, what do we do? Because David just said he's never coming back. Do we just, like, re-roll? <laughs> if David wins, I guess we just re-roll. So we'll do that, I guess. Alrighty, I think we're good. Let's add David. David! Alrighty. Alright, everybody has their entries. That's the last additions. We're gonna shuffle and then roll. So these are double re-rolls. Let's do it. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. This is your last chance. Last chance. This is your absolute last chance to let me know if you believe you were missed in one of the dates throughout the past <laughs> since the second forward or from 29th to the second. If you thought I missed you, please let me know. This is your last shot. If you were missed and I missed you, at this point, I don't give a fuck because you've had a lot of time. You've had a lot of time now. And if you do it after, I swear to God, I'm not going to feel bad. It's just play, I'm just being totally upfront with you. We've had a lot of time now. So if, if like, like I said, if you, if you are good now, you're good or forever hold your peace. We're going to, we're going to do it like it's marriage. All right. Are we good on this? Sweet. Okay. So we have the, the V star Gira. And we got to go back here for Tyson's, uh, the Machamp. Last chance, everybody. Last chance. Imagine David sniping. That'd be funny as fuck. That'd, that'd be so funny. Yeah, but what would we repo? Would it technically be? I feel like... We, like, here's the thing. If, if somebody tells us in the Discord they're never coming back because they don't like how we did things, and then they, like, told our community to basically fuck off, I feel like I should have full right to just tell them to fuck off and they don't get any entries, but then that also sounds like a dictatorship. They do technically get entries. Now, if they win... That's when I guess we have, we have a community decision at that point. All right. Everybody agree? Everybody good? We're ready for a reroll? Spike moment. Yo. <laughs> All right. Y'all ready? Are we good? Give me a... Give me a... Yes. Yes, we are good in chat. Or give me good. Or we are good. Or we are number one or something. I don't know. Give me some signification or some something to signify that we are good in, in chat, that you are all ready. Also, wait, let me write down um Tyson and uh Russ's LBs. Do I have it right here? Kumbaya. Where can I write that down? Where can I write? Where can a young boy like me write that down? I'll do it after. I'll go grab a, a stack of energies. Uh, yep. Yes. Let's go. Wait. You got to give me five hundred entries. Fuck off, Franco. <laughs> Good. Let's go. I can't believe Spike actually did that. Ready? We stand on Venus. Can't wait to lose again. All right. Let's do it. Here we go. We're gonna reroll. Everybody's cool. Everybody's ready. Where are we? There we go. All right, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. The winner of the Giratina V-Star Gold. The new winner. <laughs> Sorry, Russ. At least you're getting a lucky bag, so that's not too bad. Maybe you win again, right? Effin Defries. Effin's not even here right now. <laughs> He's, he was even a part of all this. And he went. Effin, nice. You're going to get the Giratina V-Star. Courtesy of Russ. Don't worry though, Russ. We got you with an LB. So Effin, you are going to be the new winner of the Gira V-Star. Gira V- Gira Gold V-Star. Sweet. And done. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. The winner of the Machamp. Will Tyson reclaim it? Or will there be a new winner? Let's see. Eric. All right. Eric is going to take... The Machamp V alternative art in the reroll. However, Russ and Tyson will still get it, be getting $100 worth of credit on stream to uh, LBs to use whenever they would like. So they're basically still getting $100 of value, and they can actually make more out of that than these cards they would have won otherwise. 
Uh, the Machamp V, I think, is like an 80-something dollar card. The Giratina is around the same. So they actually get more value on stream, and if they get a really good bag, they actually can make a lot more off this. So even though it seems a little like you know, cop-out-ish. It's really not. You can do a lot better here. Uh, just don't pull the mind back. <laughs> so let me get, let me write this down real quick for Russ and Tyson. Ugh. So Tyson, one free LB. Plus Tyson has 70 credit. So Tyson, you have a, a little free reign here. You could have fun with that. Oh, dropped it already. Ugh. All right, put that right here. And Russ, one free LB. All righty. Yo. <laughs> All righty. Everything should be golden now. Also, have you guys ever seen? Have you guys ever seen this card? It's a cool card. Pretty sweet. I kind of want to grade it, man. I kind of want to grade this guy. Wouldn't it be cool if I just like... <laughs> you think I was gonna? Don't worry. It's fake. It's not real. This is a fake card. Somebody sent me a fake one of these on eBay. Trying to one-up me. Trying to scam me. We got the refund, though. Don't worry. But my still likes the card, so we keep it in a card saver. Because my likes, my likes it. Even though it's not real. She doesn't care. She's like, I like it. <laughs> so anyway. All right. Let's keep seeing what... Let's see what happened in chat. What's occurred in chat? Uh, uh, but above all good. Congrats. 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 Effin' tier. Effin' tier. <laughs> nice, Effin'. Uh, did high roll get pulled yet in the LBs? Uh, we just... Uh, Patty G just bought out an entire... An entire thing of LBs. <laughs> Trying to get better Wi-Fi. <laughs> Not my problem. <laughs> Long shots, Dama, but I did lose a Blaine's Charizard due to a reroll. Could I possibly get a Lucky or something close? Again, don't have to just asking. No. No, that you would have had to. We would have had to do that back then. There's no better Wi-Fi in my area. El Franco, Argentina, L. Sadness, Munch, Evie, do it, Dama. You saw. You you saw. <laughs> oh, damn. So Mao, you would have had to. It, it, we would have had to like. The thing is like. Yeah, we, we would have had to have, to have done it back then. Plus, it was like the Blaine Charizard. What was that for? That was for the the LB incentive of that specific round? Or something? What occurred with that one? I don't even know. But we would have had to have done it then and situated it that stream. Like, if here's the thing. If. Put it this way. If that stream, when it occurred, you were like, damn, I'm really unhappy. This sucks. Is there any way I could get any compensation? Probably would have. Um, but then forward here and like Russ and Tyson are like, damn, dude, that really sucks. Is there any like anything you can do? Because that kind of And then I'm like, yeah, I can do something about it. And But then you see that and then you're like, oh, well, <laughs> happened to me. Can I get some? You know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? It kind of, you know, then it's like, oh, well, it happened a while ago. You, you should have told me then. Yeah, and then I'd have to go. There's so many t other times we've done whoop, we've done rerolls that I would have had to do the same thing. The reason why I'm doing it in this situation is because it was just a blatant miss of like multiple fucking days worth of shit, and we also like we're I was pretty confident that we didn't fuck up, and we did. So we'll call it like it is. And it, the thing is, it's all happening today, right? If it, if three days from now they were like, "Yo, can we get? Can we please get?" For that fuck up, I would say no because it ha it has to happen the day of. I'm so damn tired. <laughs> and if he doesn't have another day, he'd have to go back and do all the other yeah. So it'd just be it would just be frustrating. <laughs> Do 
All right, so here's what we can do now. So here's what we can do. All right, Eric and Effin gonna win those ones. Russ and Tyson have their free LBs. So here's what we can do. Okay, from here on out, we can A, all right, we can A, do a new round of LBs. B, Patty G, you might be tired, but I'm still going to give you that offer. If you do want to potentially buy out the next round of LBs, I will put my fucking disgustingly expensive Gengar in the following round of LBs. Kind of like, you know, you're going to do really well in your round of LBs if you buy them out. And then the next following round when people are going in, you know, they'll have a chance at a crazy, crazy expensive card. Um, so we can do that. Uh... C, option C, we can just label up the next round of LBs if we're not doing that. So you guys let me know. Uh, Dama, did you give Patty G his Mimikyu? Ooh. Are you about tomorrow? I'm cool with that. Mimikyu. Did I say I was going to give Patty G a Mimikyu for a buyout? I don't remember if I said that or not. Macus would know. Macus remembers stuff better than I do. Macus, remind me uh, when I said that so I can remember because I always forget shit like that. I don't doubt that I I, I don't doubt that I said that. I I probably said that. If so, he's right there. And then we got others in the back for the other giveaways. We have two others technically. One for a uh, one for uh, at the end of the week. We got to do a, a big roundabout one, and then uh, another one for another thing. So we have three of them, but that's one. We have two back there. You can see them, the little guys. <laughs> uh, the first two people who spent 1K would go in. Yeah, but remember we stopped that and we made it to a weekly. No, yeah, we, we stopped that one. We didn't, we didn't do that one. <laughs> Yeah, Pat, it, you did. In the Discord, you that out Crimson A's. Yeah, so you have options, Patty G. Do you want a Crimson A's booster box, or do you want a Mimikyu? Mimikyu's worth more. Yeah, no, we stopped, we stopped the first two one because we, we made it into a weekly instead. I remember we stopped that one. <laughs> we just made it into a weekly because we a lot of people were like, first two people, that kind of sucks because then no, not everybody doesn't get a shot. So then we said, all right, we'll do, we'll do them weekly based. I do remember that to a T. I'll die on that hill. This guy, however, Patty G has an option of getting this or the Crimson Haze box. Crimson Haze is going to be in tomorrow. We'll get, we're going to have two cases. Um, if you guys really want to straight up buy like or like grab cases of Crimson Haze, I we have two cases coming in tomorrow. If you want a hot box for it, we can do that with one of the cases. If you don't want a hot box, we just have two cases. You know what I mean? So it's up to you. If this makes the decision easier, Patty G, Crimson Haze uh, is like, it's going to be fucking release day. So we're going to have to go based off of pack price, pack price per box. Most places are probably going to have them at four or five bucks a pack. So that times 30. Uh, this guy is pretty accurate around a hundred bucks. I would definitely get one then from around March. With, yeah. Yeah. So like. From around March 15th. Yeah. So, like, that's... what I remember for a fact, yeah, we, we definitely didn't do the first two people to hit 1K. And it wasn't even... It wasn't 1K. It was not 1K. I remember telling my I was going to do that at 2,500. 2K would be the minimum. So that... I, I know we didn't do that one. Or we, we didn't decide on that one. Yeah, we, we didn't decide. We decided on the weekly so everybody could get in. I know that one for a fact. I'll die on that hill. The the entry thing that's where I'll let I'll I'll work with you guys because I'm not this thing I'll I'll die on this hill. <laughs> Eagles. <laughs> yeah, I remember you told me yeah I I was gonna do no less than two k for one of those because they're they're expensive boys. 
Then you said the wheel. Yep. I never got a response from Mal. Mal D, are you still here? Do you understand uh, my response to what you asked? Oh, I spent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the, ma <laughs> the main reason we were going to reward Patty G with one of these was because if he did a buyout. Because that's like fucking insane. You know what I mean? I, we haven't had a buyout on the LBs in a long time. Today was chaos. Such very chaotic in a fun and crazy way. I enjoyed it. Yeah, so Mao, do you uh, uh, do you understand? At least I want to make sure you understand. You may hate me for it. That's fine. But it, it, as long as you understand. I understand. Sorry, it's a long shot at the end of it. Yeah, as long as you understand, yeah. If it was the day of, I honestly probably would have. It's just because it's like after the date, then I'd have to go back on every single one. And there's been ones in the past where like we fucked up a um we've fucked up uh roles and I have rewarded the people stuff if they ask. But it's mainly like some people are just like You know what I mean? Mac has said Order. Take a look. What do you guys think? Booster box or plush? Mac is sent through 20 schmacker. Oh, wait. Wait, we had another order from... Wait, we had another order. Actually, it was Macus and then... Patty G sent $50 CJWF for Macus. And then Macus said 20 CJWF. CJWF. We got to get CJWF for Macus. A lot of it. Macus, CJWF. We got to get you a lot of it. 70 worth. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. CJWF for Maccus. Ooh. Maccus, you ready? 14 CJWF. 1. Your favorite Pokemon. Ghastly. Raging Bolt. Chemtech Belt Thing. Relicanth. Yo, Maccus! You pulled my favorite card from the entire set. <laughs> I fucking love this card, Maccus. Oh, you pulled my favorite card. That's beautiful. We gotta sleep that. Crydon, Slugma Nuts, Macus, Raichu. Okay, there you go. Nice little g the gal with the hacking. <laughs> I don't know what she does. Iron something and Delmize. Iron Crown. Did I not do your fifteen dollar order? Did I not? In the midst of the chaos, I missed. Macus is 15 schmacks. Let me take a look. Macus. Oh, yeah, you did a double. Let me get you, Macus. Uh, CJWF. So another five, another five or three to CJWF. I apologize, Macus. Reunculus, the boys, and d d d d d the guy. Such a pretty card. All right, Macus. Let's get all these sleeved up for you. Um, let's see. Frick your order, Matt. Mm, do you want your cardboard? Do you want your cardboard or cotton? I'm sorry, he bet. We will come full circle. I'm blocking you. Not eight, no 85 worth. I'd say plush. You did not do my $50. It's a cute plush. You didn't dominate. He's scamming you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's fucking happening. Chaos. Today's a chaotic stream. That's fun. Chaotic stream, man. Chaotic stream. chaotic stream if it, it ain't a stream if it ain't a chaotic stream let's be honest i have good news we've won the war against the fire nation did you gabriel i'm proud of you you won the war let's go gabriel are you the avatar gabriel are you the avatar this is an error Texture shift. It's a texture shift error on this. Pretty cool. Small little error, but pretty cool. Tiny little texture shift error on this. You can kind of see it. See it right there? You can kind of see it in this lighting. See how it like kind of fades a little bit? Let me see if I can get it this way. Certain angles, you can see it. Right there, you can see it a little. Pretty cool. My favorite card in the set. Wait, 
Patty, are you buying out? Does that mean we can buy bags? If Patty buys out tonight again, you will guarantee get my Gengar in the next round. My fucking beautiful boy. You guys, one of you will get it. It's like inevitable. Also, any February sub updates? PSA's fucking off, Marcus. <laughs> They're fucking off. <laughs> They're still fucking off, which is fucking which is which is great. Love that. I love how the the sub we did right before this sub, they came back on a uh they came back in like 2 weeks or 3 weeks. And then this sub they've been taking quite literally over a month, which is over the amount of time that it was supposed to be for the February thing. But it's it's business days technically, so we might not have hit those business days exactly. Macus, where are the uh, what's it called? Oh. Macus, woo! Am I going to do the buyout tonight? I'm tired. <laughs> if you wanted, Patty G, I'll give you the option. If you wanted to, you could buy it out tonight and we could do it tomorrow. And then I could just prep the next round now. And then uh, if anybody wanted to still go in tonight, we could just do that round. If you wanted to. Just something to think about. I will tell you, there is a fucking insane slab in the current round. Like a really fucking good one. Uh, Macus. Woo! Uh, Macus, Macus, Macus. Alrighty. Let's put that right here. Let's check the old Q. Alrighty. Sweet. Alright, we're caught up. We do be caught up, baby. Nice. I'll think about it. Sweet. Yeah, take your time, brother. Um, let's read. I want the booster box. I want to open cards again. It's been a while. Sweet. Alright, so Mimi Q will stay in Mimi Q spot. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do then is I'll write down here. Uh da -da -da -da. Patty G. C H box. Sweet. We'll keep that for tomorrow, brother. Alrighty. Nice. You see PSA increased their basic membership price to 150. Did they really? It's no different. It's like it's whatever. Like eh, eh, whatever. <laughs> if you if like somebody's using PSA efficiently, it's it's not gonna make a difference. And if fifty dollars is a like here's the here's the re here's the reality. Fifty dollars is not a big difference um, to the individuals that are making PSA money. The people that are primarily making PSA money are the people grading constantly, and there's a lot of people that do it. So fifty dollars to them is going to be nothing. The people that want to grade a card or two, or like a few cards a year, they're going to be the ones not happy about that increase, but they're not the ones making PSA money. So PSA won't give a fuck. I'm out of bed. Good night, everyone. Hey, good night, Kaiser. Thank you for stopping by, homie. Always good to have you here. You sent out one of my cards to CDC. Yes. The fucked up Porygon. I don't even know what they're doing with that thing, dude. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I never know if I'm going to get that back in the mail and they're going to be like, no. <laughs> or if it's going to come back graded. I have no fucking clue. That's the first time I've ever graded something like that. So that's going to be an interesting one, Franco. I know you said you were considering paying mods and mod like with one free card each sub. Do you come to a decision? Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it, Macus. So Macus, so like Macus and Hee Hee. Um, I know Macus isn't a mod right now, but Macus is basically a fucking mod. So like Macus and Hee Hee right now, uh, I, because you guys are always here, you you guys are always helping everybody out. You guys are always directing people on what to do, how to do it, helping them in the Discord and all that. Um, I want to give you guys two free subs in each sub. I think that's I think that's fair for now. Clearly, if we could get to something better in the future, we can do that. But I think two free subs. What about me? Um, you'll get your you'll get your reward later. <laughs> it's a sex joke. 
Uh, if you do a LB tonight, you know you know if you get a Porygon. Uh, if you do a LB tonight, you know I have to get Porygon. I'll use my free. Bet, Russ. Bet, baby. <laughs> yeah, if Patty doesn't buy this round out, we can do it. Well, even if he does buy it out, then we'll just we'll make a new round, and then I'll 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 make it, and we'll add the Gengo, and then we'll um. What's it called? We'll just random. We'll just random them up, and then we'll fucking we'll make them up. The only reason I'm I'm waiting on it is because if Patty G does buy it out, you guys will literally get a f the most expensive slab we've ever put into a lucky bag or like a round of lucky bags. It it that'll be on the table, and somebody could you and we'll be doing it live too, so you guys will see me like name every or like name everything here. Ra like randomized so you'll know like firsthand clearly you guys already a lot of you already know this but some of you watching might not be too akin to how we do things here and you might be like oh he's got he fucking he, he rigs everything and in case you think that then you'll see us do it live um which we've done it a lot before but you'll see us do it live and you'll know that like yeah you can pull the crazy fucking slab first lucky bag it's possible it's happened before um it doesn't happen often. Just based on odds, it shouldn't. And it doesn't. But it does also happen. So, you know, it could happen. It fucking could. A vow valid. Patty brother, do it for us. Yella. <laughs> Shala. It's been a while since I have been here. Did I miss anything? Also, nice hat. Gabriel. What's good, brother? I mean, Patty G already bought out an entire round. Like, regardless, that's it's a legendary fucking moment. That shit's crazy. Patty G's a fucking homie for that. It's wild. Um, and we're very appreciative of that, no matter what. And Patty G, tomorrow, that Crimson Haze booster box, if you pull the Sinistra SAR, I will fucking, I will trade you. I will trade you. I, I will make, I'll make a deal to any of you. Um, if any of you tomorrow from the Crimson Haze boxes if any of you pull how about this we'll make a fun deal if any of you pull an sar we'll grade it for you for free that sound cool if you pull an sar from crimson haze booster boxes tomorrow if you pull an sar i'll grade it for you for free sound good all right inshallah i'm just about a patty you're Patty, you're goat. Yeah, Patty's a goat. I have a clip of Tegan behind the monitor writing the Pokemon names in the bags as they're called. I'm sending it to Rattle Pokemon to start his investigation. He can't attack a toddler. He'd look like the asshole. <laughs> Guy, Dama, Dama has rigged all his hotbox, even more of a reason to go in on them. Exactly. I rigged all of them to be terrible. You're all fucked. Juan is your goat. He, he, goat. What you been doing, Gordita Love? <laughs> can you open it live on stream? Yeah, I can open it live on stream, man. Yeah. Give you 80 for the plus. My son needs a new cuddle toy. <laughs> I wish I could chop. I'm going to be honest. You could probably buy it online for that. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't. I actually genuinely. They're actually a little more. I think they're more. Let me see. Uh, Mimikyu Pikachu plush. The Mimikyu Pikachu plush. Like the official licensed ones from the Pokemon Center. Are. Uh, yeah. So the, the official licensed ones. Are, yeah, they go between seventy-five to a hundred. On average, about ninety-five though. So like, you could you get them on eBay. These ones I got to use for the freebies though, <laughs> or for like not you know the giveaways and shit. Without getting into too much detail, my mind surgery for a tumor. I've been working lots of overtime to help pay for whatever insurance won't cover bills. Damn, dude, are you okay? Is everything like? good talk to us as much as you want to or as much as you feel comfortable with we're, we're here that's fucked though dude I'm, I'm sorry to hear that hopefully speedy recovery all's good everything's benign and uh you know chopper went to look for links i could link you guys i could find the links and i can link you my dnd group made a goblin nuke with magic and used it on a village spawning 1.2 million goblins and fire lots of fire that sounds fun should start to hear about that, man. Juan. Shit like that is my biggest fear. You're a good dude. Hope it all ends well. Damn. I, remember when David R. said good luck on building a community? David, we already got one. And I love it. I fucking love it. 
I hope she gets better. You got this, bro. Best motherfucker out there. For sure. Juan's a homie. I know where to find good deals for official plushes. So sorry to hear that. We are always here if you want. 100%. Word, I'll check eBay. Totally understand. Yeah, yeah, no, here. Let me, um, I'll find some links for you. Macus is probably really good at that too. He, he said it himself in chat. He knows how to find the good, the good plush. He knows how to find that good plush. Uh, let me find it real quick. So the actual license name for it is the Pumpkin Parade Pikachu. So let's find it. Let's find it. Pumpkin Parade Pikachu. Let's take a look. Pumpkin Parade Pikachu. This one looks this one looks reliable. Here, I'll throw one in a uh, Discord for you. There's one on eBay looks pretty reliable. I think that's the cheapest one I found. All the other ones are like fucking discount discount ass ones. They're not real. <laughs> They're like the the Etsy versions. The Sheehan version. <laughs> Actually, okay. <laughs> she's okay now. Surgery was successful and she's better. I've uh, been trying to just keep my head distracted until the surgery. Thankfully, she's getting out. That's why I haven't been here for a minute. Well, I'll take your time, brother. Take your time, my man. Seriously, take your time. You don't got to be here every night if you're going through things like that. You don't even got to be here at all if you're going through things like that. Just let us know how things are, man. And we, if we can help in any way or if we can at least just say like, hey, if you need to talk, man, you know, we're here. I need more tea. Understandable, man. Uh, Nicole, gonna if you're talking boys here, fucking boys, man. I love, dude. I love this. Yeah. So, in regards to the, um, in regards to the, uh, what's it called? The PSA sub. Yeah, man. So the PSA sub right now is the exact same place it's been. I tried calling PSA today. And they put me on a wait list. <laughs> they put me on a wait list. Uh, I tried calling them today and I was like, I was going to be like, hey, we're like right at the fucking, we're right at the limit. Are you guys, are, are you guys really going to like last day of when you said, is that, is that the day? I was going to ask just to be like, is that what's going on here? Like the last day you're going to hit me with that upcharge and then we're going to, we're going to send it out the last day of business days. And, um. I think I th I just I wasn't they called and I was like I think I was fucking driving so I was like and uh never got to have that conversation but yeah everything's literally it's it's like it's stuck in fucking purgatory and it probably will be until let's see it arrived on that date which that if it arrived on this date the 20th of February it is now the 22nd of March which the February TCG special meant a month it would be 30 day business days get back so that means at the very least we have like another week will probably be waiting at the very least if they want to it could be tomorrow we get info it's just i don't fucking know uh wants to always fight the hospital bills on hospitals the lower it, and you could probably get it removed too metri what's good homie by the way everybody if you haven't go watch metri's new video it's fucking nuts it's really good like, genuinely i would say and i'm not I'm not just saying this, Metri, to to hype you up or to to like gobble your nuts. I'm being dead serious. Your video is very, very good. It's like very, very good. And it was like super like the retention kept my attention the entire time. The editing was really fucking good. If you made a script for it, it was solid. Uh all the cards used were very unique in their own way, in their own like degree. It, it was really, really good. It was, it was my favorite video I've watched po in like Pokemon related in a minute. I really enjoyed it. Then pesky itemized receipts where magically your bills come down. Yeah, they're like, yeah, we've turned the air conditioning on in the room. That's like seven thousand dollars, please. I know with like I, I had to remember the one stream like a, a month or two ago where I like stopped and I was like I gotta go to the hospital and you guys were like yeah go to the hospital and I was like all right well I went there and uh, my insurance at the time like it was through through who I work for my my insurance they were like I guess I wanted the highest tier of insurance just in case because like medical things are important and you will get fucked 
left and right. You know, if you ever had some like big thing, you can fight it, but you're still going to pay a lot. So I just pay the difference. I want a high insurance, like a good insurance, right? So with my thing, I, I, I asked for the highest insurance. Turns out my employer never fucking signed me up for it. And I was like, why? And uh, when I got there, I found that out. And uh, I had to go through like to... Basically, we went down a rabbit hole of basically almost proving the insurance they had me under, the lowest one that they defaulted me to, was like a fraudulent company and <laughs> committing insurance fraud. So I'm proving that to the hospitals and fighting that bill. And they're like finding out right now that this place isn't even fucking real. And they're going to just hit me with the, the classic $250 ER default bill. And that's probably what it's going to get to, which is like fine. But it's like, you know, that's, I think the initial bill would have been like thousands, but like, that's an example. And now my insurance is fine. Good news. But like, fuck, <laughs> that shit was annoying. Been here for a while listening. Hell yeah. Let me be more direct. If you need help financially, let me know. I'm more than willing to help. Uh, not a pity, but of envy. Understand one. What's crazy is I just looked up, uh, mech tree and I already watched his most recent video and I really watched for random YouTube videos. It was definitely good. Yeah. It's a solid video. Also, Patty G, that's fucking awesome of you, man. If Juan, Juan is, I'll put it this way. Juan is, Juan is a little hard-headed. From, from what I know of Juan and from when we've spoken throughout the millennia, Juan's a bit hard-headed. He won't directly ask for help. He definitely won't. Um, however, Juan, you bitch, if you need help, feel free to ask people around you. You have good people around you. People will be willing to help you. People will be willing to talk to you, you know? Life can throw you shit balls here and there, and we're all here to fucking help because sometimes that shit helps. Just having like a voice to talk to, or a, a voice to hit you back with something, or hearing having some ears to listen to can help a lot, right? Patty, don't let the IRS see. <laughs> they don't need to know. Who's the IRS? All right. So I'm going to hit it with the, uh, we're going to hit it with the one, two real quick. This is going to be my last call. And don't feel don't feel pressured by this, Patty G. I just, I just know other people wanted to do LBs tonight. Um, so this is my last call, Patty G. If you want to buy it out, we could do it tomorrow too as well if you didn't want to do it tonight. But if you wanted to buy it out for tomorrow or tonight, um, this is your last call. It would be the full round, so 30 LBs. Um, if you do, I will guaranteed put my Gengi in the next round. That is my my promise to the community and you, because if you go in too, you you have a chance at that fucker, and that fucker is really expensive. He's worth literally half the entire bags, so that's nuts. If not, we'll probably just get going with this round, and I'll start naming them up. Also, real quick, while I'm gone, um, OG Hot Box, uh, buy two get one. I'm gonna make some tea really quickly, so give me a second, everybody.
We have returned. Let's go. All right. All right, what's good, gamers? How you doing? So did we come to a, a decision? Let's find out. Let me read chat. I called a two-for-one special one. What was the best cool? Patty buying out his round so Dama can put the Gengi Cardis in the next round? I'm down. Calgary from XY was so fucking good. And for the money, I think I do to support Dama. I like I like Chair Dama. <laughs> He's rather quiet. <laughs> He's a good guy. Chair Dama is a nice guy. I like him. You missed Chair. Fuck. <laughs> All right. So here's what we got. Here's what we here's what we can do, gamers. What are we thinking? Are we gonna? Are we thinking? Uh, are we thinking buyout round two? Or are we gonna call it and just get into a new round? Also, all of you here, who who is interested in getting in on this current round? If there is no buyout, who's interested on in getting in on this round tonight or on this current round tonight? There is like like I said, there's a there's a pretty close to one k bag in this current round. So th and there's there's like a lot of really good stuff in this round. So. Am I going to buy it tonight? All right. So what I'm going to ask is, who else was considering getting on in on LBs then for this round? If anybody else is considering, I can get them uh, written up. <laughs> for LBs, uh, could I look at the options again? I might not choose Porygon if we do another one. Yeah, I'd have to I'd have to write them all up. So what I'd have to... I can do that right now while we're, like, talking. While we're talking. <laughs> I can do that right now. All right, so what we're going to do then is get these ones written up. We'll get these ones all written up. So I, I do them like this. I'll show you. I have to, so this is how we do it. I do a thing like this. I do this, put it right here, and then I cut a little part. And then I, here's what I do. I grab the bag, like a bag. So like a random bag. I'll put this one right here, for instance. And I'm going to put it on the front, a little thing across. Then we'll take our bags like this. I take the bags. I'm just going to do this. It's randomly like this. Just all fucking random. I don't know what's happening. Like you, you can see it, like what I'm doing. Just doing this. Is the, all the bags are just randomly in order. So there's no, there's no rhyme or reason. Um, lungs, heart, <laughs> read my brother. I can't, I didn't have too much uh, for budget this week. You're good, Solar. Can I have three lucky bags for free, please? I'll give you 12 for free. A thousand. A million. All of them for free. All of them for free. Chair Dama would have given you 17 for free. I give you a million. Patty, still going to card party. I might end up going. I'm still going to card party. What is card party? All right, time to do bags. So what we're going to do, we put them down like this, and then we face them down, and I just pull one up, and I see what it is, and then I write that on the bag. Okay, so that one will be assigned to that one. It's an easy process, really. <laughs> Quite the easy process. We take this current one, and we put it right there. Let me grab another and do the same routine. So this one, I got to cut off a little piece. Hey, thank you. I'm going to tell my mommy. Just tell her not to check her credit card, okay? Tell her not to check it. If she checks it, then we might be in a world of issues. <laughs> All right. Next up is this guy. Ooh, I like him. He's a cool Pokemon. And he's going to get assigned to this bag. If you guys don't see the bags, I could technically... No, because no, you wouldn't know anything. Wait, if I said whatever one is coming up next, you wouldn't know the bag it's to. So that wouldn't help you at all. Yeah, that wouldn't help you at all. All right. Still, I'm just not going to say anything. I'm just, I'm just not going to say a word. So this one is going to get... I want to keep it as incognito as possible. As incognito. You feel me? You feel me, player? All right, so what's the next one? Next one up is that one. Cool. If she charged it back... <laughs> if she checks it, charge backs are inside. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's the crazy thing, dude. That's the that's the actual wild thing, though. Like, imagine your child goes on goes anywhere and spends like a thousand dollars. How are you not aware of that within like a fucking hour, <laughs> or like within at least within a day or two? I feel like you should you should be pretty aware as a parent. Like, I don't know about you guys, but like I check my accounts just to see what's happening. Make sure nobody's stolen my identity every now and then. Imagine like <laughs> not checking your, your what your child is doing for like the better part of two months or three months or something like that. I forget what it was. Fucking wild, dude. That shit's nuts. That's just that's some questionable parenting. I'm gonna just say it. That's some questionable parenting. I get it. So your children should not be doing that. But at the same time, you know what I mean? Like, I think my parents raised me raised me well. And I still, like... I still took my mom's card when I was, like, 13 and spent $100. You know what I mean? There's, there's something not right if your child does not know that, like, $3,000 is, like... That they shouldn't be doing that. Like, it, it's not even like it's a big... Like, here's the thing... 3 3k in and out what what fucking ever what is baffling to me is that like that occurred that's just fucking wild to me <laughs> i would have gotten my shit rocked if i did that like i god god bless him i hope i hope spike is doing okay um i i genuinely do my my parents would have rocked my shit so i i hope you know what i mean i hope i hope that he, his parents are kind Mommy, I know you're 35k in debt, but I really want this lucky bag. <laughs> Mommy, please. Lucky bag. Very much monies I need. Mommy, please. I get big Charizard card. You you know I love you. Mommy, I hate you forever if you don't let me use another $40,000 via your Amex, uh, your Amex Platinum. Please, Mommy. Please. Maybe his parents are stacked. Um, Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I have no idea. The thing is, no, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. Because they wouldn't do a chargeback if that was the case. And they would know how to go about that properly. You know what I mean? The thing here's here's a little fun tidbit about people with money. A lot of people who have money know how to approach things in a, in a professional manner when, thing, when shit hits the wall or shit hits the fan. Um, I genuinely think, like, maybe... Like three k could have been like a whole month's worth of like rent and grow and like shit to the to to this this family. And the kid was just like fuck it. I don't have a concept of money, and that's that's like that's a scary thing, man. But at the end of the day, it's like I I can't feel bad, like for the parents because it's like you know what I mean. That you should have you should be watching over that shit. You know what I mean? When it comes down to, to our business or your livelihood, you know what I mean? My business is part of my livelihood. It's part of my what my identity. It's part of what we do. And I'm not going to back down for that because of your fuck up. So that's the inevitability. Regardless, though, it's still like, it's still, it's still, I still, I have a heart. I feel bad, but I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to be like, oh, so, you know, I get it. I don't think I'd be able to walk if I spent my parents' money. Exactly. Like, I would, dude, I'm telling you, the belt would have been the least of my worries. The the bat? Nah. I would have gotten the fucking choke hold up against the wall with, like, something else. I would have got my, sh I would have got my shit rocked. You know what I mean? I remember the first time. <laughs> I can say this because my dad has dementia. So, they can't come for him. And, I, and I'm an adult now, so it's just, it's all fun and games. I remember when I was younger, the first time I ever, like, did something real bad, and I, I really learned my dad was, like, the, <laughs> this sounds so, he was the alpha of the house. Like, when I was, like, younger and I thought I was the shit, I learned when he was the, he was the, the man of the house. I did something, I don't even fucking remember. Motherfucker picked me up with, like, one arm. I just, whoosh, and I was like, ugh. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, I thought I could kick your ass a minute ago. <laughs> and that's when I learned I wasn't shit. And um, yeah, so I can imagine if I did that. I would have. Jesus. I'm going to withdraw 100K in cash, give it out to the crack addicts at the downstairs apartments. That's my charity for the week. Yeah, exactly. The IRS is cool with that. They're going to be like, sweet. Where's our cut? 
We are also crack addicts. Where is our cut? I guess I'm joking. It's, it's a joke. Uh, shit, can I have to start doing crack and move into fancy apartments? <laughs> Give them a whole crack house. <laughs> exactly. Are you really donating to the crackheads if you're not giving them a whole crack house? Come on. Are you guys serious right now? You fucking kidding me? Then make them work for you. <laughs> It sounds a little too uh, a little too close to something that went on in like the 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 early 1800s with like a certain group of people. Hey, you guys can come in our country. Let's just feed you drugs and make you keep working for us. There's probably a, a couple groups of individuals that could fit into that sentence. <laughs> That's fucked. Alrighty. Hey, yo, Mr. Crackhead, do crack. And work for us. <laughs> Can you do both? Let's find out. Um, okay. Which one is this one? Oh, okay. He's going to get that? Oh, love that. I will give him a crack slash trap house. That's a great idea. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> That's funny. I will gift my alter ego a blender and protein powder. Other me will love me for that. <laughs> <clears throat> my dad used to get drunk and beat me senseless. I did nothing wrong. See, that's that's where it's fucked. That's where it's fucked, like, when shit like that occurs. I never understood that. I never understood the concept of taking out anger on, like, a fucking, like, a child. Yeah, they just... I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. That shit just that shit just baffles me. You know, that shit be baffling me, man. That she that shit be baffling. You shouldn't have to go through that. You know what I mean? It sucks you fucking did, dude. But like, you know. Nobody should have to go through that. The fact that you did is, you know, it's, that sucks. You know I mean, do you have a Zaxby's in PA? Zaxby's? I've heard of it. Do we have it though? Um, no. I don't. I don't think I've ever seen one. What is the next one up? Oh, I love that guy. I fucking love that guy. <laughs> I fucking love that dude. Do, 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 do. Boom, boom. And that guy's next. Cool. A boom, 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 boom. Okay. Ah. All right. We're almost done with the restock. When I first started working in home healthcare, I was a daytime care for a 34 year old man who was mentally disabled because his dad threw him against a wall at two for playing too loud. That's fucked. That's fucked, man. Like, that's the a, that's a thing about, like, I don't know. Me and Maya always talk about it like anytime like Tegan gets really loud or is like in the middle of the night just starts screaming and we have we're working off like no sleep the last fucking possible thing that would ever enter our mind is like physical violence towards her like the first thing we do the, the most we'll ever do is be like Tegan please stop and that's like the extent of it and then after even after that we'll feel bad like we'll be like did we raise our voice too much? Because it's like she's she's help she's a child she's helpless she doesn't know any better, so it's like the 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 idea that so, it could cross somebody's mind to like just fucking I don't know man I, I I never can condone nor act like that is ever okay for anybody to ever do uh, and I won't act like it is. Um, people can change and be better and not and acknowledge their fuck ups in life, but to ever do that in the first place. It's kind of fucked. You know what I mean? Very fucked.
PA has horse-drawn carriages? Yeah, we fucking do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Pennsylvania, if you want to get uh, horse and buggied, you head up to the old uh, Amish country. The old, uh, what is it? Lancaster. Lancaster. Caster. Lancaster. <laughs> yeah, you, ha you head up to Lancaster, and um, you can hang out with the Amish. And by hang out, I mean you can go to, like, there's this, there's this fucking um, buffet called Shady Maple. You can go in there, and the Amish will eat there. They'll go in there. They'll eat there. And you can eat with the Amish. It's, it's not like it's a fucking spectacle, like it's a museum type thing where you pay 15 bucks, you get to eat with the Amish. It's like they, they're just there to eat, and you, you can sit next to them. And just, it's like you go anywhere. It's just like, it's imagine you went to a Denny's, but there's Amish people. It's that. It's cool, though. You just hear, like, out of, out of your fucking, um, you just hear out of your rear views, your, your ears, you'll hear, like, Jebediah, can you pass me the butter? <laughs> You're like, oh, 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 fucking who? Who the fuck? Who the fuck is passing you the what? It's so fucking. It's they're, they're good people, man. The Amish are genuinely they're nice people. I think about I think I've had a conversation with a few Amish people in my life. Uh, mo mostly people when when um when I was younger, my parents used to breed our our labs, and they would take our one female up to the Amish country because she would um breed with the one big male up in up in the old Amish lands, and uh, it was like specifically to keep the specific type of fucking AKC ACA of dog or whatever. I don't know. I don't I'm not into it. It's not my thing. It, they knew it for a bit. Um but I had conversations with uh about with Amish people then. They were nice people. They were just like us. Just like us, except, you know, the whole like no electricity thing. But nowadays you can just go on fucking TikTok and you'll see the Amish kids rocking out on that shit. <laughs> They're like, "What the f no electricity? Fuck you. I got a phone." You pimped out your dog? I didn't pimp out the dog. I'm surprised Dama doesn't have a crack kingdom. PA so many crackheads. You know where there were more crackheads? Hawaii. When me and Mai went to Hawaii, there were more crack... I've seen more crackheads in Hawaii than I've seen in my entire life. And it's because... I guess there was... Mai's dad was telling us. And I don't, I don't know how accurate this is. But he, he's a smart... And Mai's dad's a smart fucking guy. He's a very smart guy. Very well spoken. Um, he told he was telling us how there was like a mandate or something where more or less uh, at some point the government gave like basically crackheads like a one way ticket to wherever the fuck they wanted in the US and the majority picked Hawaii and I guess Hawaii just got like overrun with crackheads and it affected like it also affected the Hawaiian population a lot of people doing crack and shit and it's like a problem um, don't know how accurate that is but like it doesn't sound far fetched because it like the amount of crackheads that are there, it's it's wild, genuinely fucking wild. Every time me and my drove through uh, Waikiki, we would see people tr like just tweaking the fuck out. <laughs> Rather be a crackhead in Hawaii than out. Exactly, exactly. What's so shady about the maple? I don't know. I just don't trust him. <laughs> I just don't fucking trust the guy. I don't trust that guy. Alrighty, we're almost done restocking, by the way. We're almost done restocking. Look at that shit. We're almost done restocking. I always like to run puppy mills, real gross. It's a big problem in some areas. Yeah, I never looked into it beyond being a child. I never knew the ins and outs of that. Of the old <laughs> he old Amish puppy trade. Um Did I do two or many or too little? Hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty, two, twenty, three, twenty, four, five, twenty, six, twenty. Yeah, so we're we're there's three bags. Where are they? Where are the three bags? Did they drop or some shit? Where are the three bags from fucking yesterday? Hello? Where'd they go? The numbers were wrong. Duh? Duh? Where the fuck are they? 
Huh, maybe under? No. Oh, they're right. Okay, I'm an idiot. I'm blind. I am an idiot. I am the goofball. Well, you three, you three have been chosen for a fun fate. Uh, when me and my siblings were under 11, my parents took us back to Aunt Harrell's and my sis got traumatized by the family next property over slaughtering a goat. <laughs> Seems about Amish. Welcome to Amish land. No, they don't talk like that. They talk like, oh yeah. This is the Amish country. They kind of talk, they, they talk like this, like very, uh, more, more like stern. At least any time I've ever had the privilege of hearing them speak. That's what it sounded like. How accurate is that? I don't know. Like I said, I've spoken or heard them talk a handful of times in person. Um, so this one is this one. Do do do. <laughs> Yo. Um, I work at a floral designer. Rather be, uh, I work for three years and late night shifts. Holidays, I would design for orders and crackheads would yell my door. Are you hiring? <laughs> Are you hiring? Yes, just not you. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. It is. It's not your fault. It definitely is. Um, it's called relocation programs. They offer them. Just looked it up. Relocation programs. It's crazy. Shit's wild. That's literally wild. Imagine you like wanted to move to Hawaii. But you didn't have quite enough funds. Crack. <laughs> Just do crack and you'll get there. <laughs> That's probably not accurate, but it was probably offered to a very specific, like you had to be in a very specific scenario for that to be offered. I would, I would assume. You know what I mean? Seems Scottish. Mind blown, LLC. Also, dude, it's been a wild stream, man. Been a wild one. Been a wild one, man. Well, of course. This this one would get that bag. That checks out. That checks the fuck out. That's funny. And then the last two bags. The last two come down to this one and this one. Huh. Okay. Well, sure. That works. And the last bag goes to... not going to show you the last bag. You're not going to see the last bag. But the last bag is Gengar. Gengar got the last bag. He was the last one on the pile. Okay. All right. All the bags are made up. They offered eight different states. New York, Cali, Hawaii, Florida, Georgia, Nevada, Oregon, and Washington. Oregon would be nice. I'd pick Hawaii, too. Yeah, no, I'd pick Hawaii, but Oregon sounds pretty nice, too. I've always been told... or I, Anytime I see Oregon in, like, shows, it looks very nice. Didn't they film... Um, <clears throat> There's some show, me and my watch, not long ago, they filmed in Oregon. I think it might have been Goosebumps? Maybe that was... Was that Oregon? I don't know. Very pretty scenery. All right, let's shuffle up the bags again. All bags are shuffled. Where's Bellsprout? We got to put him to the front. Where's Bell? Where's the bell? I hear no bell. I hear no bell. There he is. Okay. Sweet. Lucky bags are restocked and ready to go. So I'll ask anybody before we wrap tonight up, if you'd like to do a lucky bag round, let me know in chat right now. Let me try my tea. Ugh. It allows me to go. Ah! It only allows me to go to certain cities. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> Russ said, I'll grab one. All right, so Russ wants to use his uh his one free LB. Russ, your one free LB has been confiscated. I mean, not confiscated, but you know what I mean. Um, it's been used. So, Russ, 
Let me show you the bags, man. This was a uh, a little sorry, sorry, Russ. I didn't mean it. This was when uh, <clears throat> Russ got his uh, item in the uh, the incentive taken away. Russ, I apologize. Hopefully, this makes up for it. Maybe you get a good bag. If not, damn. So you got Bell Sprout, Hypno, Lickitung, Gyarados, Flareon, Gloom, Caterpie, Charizard, Vaporeon, Arcanine, Dragonite, Mewtwo, Oddish, Squirtle. Krabby, Blastoise, Ammonite, Dugong, Psyduck, Chansey, Muck, Horsey, Porygon, Aerodactyl, Jolteon, Eggs, Ninetales, Gengar, Diglett, and Slowbro. Alright. Ooh. Alrighty. Best of luck, man. Best of luck. Um, and apparently they only allowed them to go to certain cities. Downtown Atlanta, so many crackers. Is it really? Have I ever been to Atlanta, Georgia? I don't think so. I don't think I've ever been to Atlanta. Between Slowbro and Gengar. Gengar? You wanna do Gengar? Do you wanna do Gengar? Choose wisely. Do a new Gengar? Let's do it. All right, Gengar it is. Let's find him. First, let's get Gengar out of the bags. Gengi, 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 Gengi. Gengi, 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 Gengi. Where's the Gengi? I'll oh, receive for my payment to pirate ship. Gotcha. Gengar! You were the last... Gengar was the last bag to be written down. Ugh. And due to that, he'll be the first up. Let's find him. Let's find the old Gengi. I'm assuming he's actually going to be in the back because... Right? Oh, no, because we kind of... Okay, it's fine. Let's just... We're just going to find normally. Let's go buy it. See how this goes. Not Gengar, 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 okay, not Gengar, not Gengar, not Gengar, it's gonna be the last one I look or I find, not Gengar, oh, we found him, nice, Gengar, sweet, sweet. All righty. Scotty, what's up, Scotty? How you doing? All right. Gengar LB, 10 CJWF off the bat. I can see that. But what else is in here? Let's find out for you. 10 CJWF. All right. That's $50 value. Snorlax CHR. Beautiful. Sogaleo Prism. Spirit Tomb CHR. Nice. Squawkability. Do you know Squawkability is like six bucks? It's playable. Fun fact. Venusaur. Nice. Wo Chen Full Art. Volo. Training Court Gold. Thornton, big big old boy Thornton, Screamtail A or uh, IR, Sugwaro, Rhyme, Rose, Rourke, Toro. So a lot of uh, a lot of our trainers. A lot of these guys are like five bucks a piece. That's pretty cool. Five, ten, fifty, twenty, twenty-five. Uh, Screamtail is not that much. Screamtail is like two, twenty-seven. Thornton's probably like four, thirty-one. <coughs> Training court's like five, twenty-six, forty-one. 44, like 48, 54, like 58, 60, 64 plus. So you got a, about a $116 bag overall. Let's see how CJWF goes for you. All right. CJWF. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Will CJWF be in your favor? Let's find out. We have Ye old Gamer. Gamer. <laughs> oh, it's sweet. Shift tree is beautiful. Swift shift tree AR. Nice. Incineroar. Uh, <clears throat> you guys hear the back of my throat, dude? What the fuck happened? Sound like I swallowed something wrong. Drampa Grandpa. Grottle. Fluttermane. Gengar. Whimsicott. And that's it. All right. So three duds, I think, from that. Gengar EX. Grottle. 
Drampa Grandpa, Incineroar, Shift Tree, Farigaraf, and CJWF. Actually, wasn't too bad. wasn't too bad. wasn't too bad. We didn't hit a full art gold or an SAR that round. And we've been hitting them all fucking night. <laughs> so that's, that's, you know, whatever. Let's get you an EV Heroes sleeve arena. We'll put the old Gengi in there because, come on, man. How could you not? <clears throat> Hopefully. Uh, dude, my fucking throat. One sec. I need to drink tea. Ah, there we go. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Now we're back. All right. How you feeling about that bag, Russ? I'll take it. I'll take it. Hey, it's a free bag, and that free bag wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. It's pretty nice. It was pretty decent. A lot of value in it. A lot of cool cards. A lot of gradable cards, actually. Uh, like this guy. He really cool. New round of LB's first bag done. Gengo Dunsky. He was uh, he was a mid. Gengo was a mid tier. Not too bad. Nice little sixteen dollar plus value for the homie Russ, and we rock with that. All righty. Yo, what's hey? What's good, Alec? How you doing, brother? What's good, man? What's good, what's good, what's good? How you holding on, brother? Is Turo mewing? Dude, of course he is. Come on, it's the Turo way. Zaddy Turo in terms of Maccus talk. <laughs> How Mac is it? Rose is hot. This would have been the perfect Maccus bag. Crazy to me the Squawkabillies, as much as it is because it's playable. Wild shit, man. Wild shit. Prism Solglow is pretty cool. Pretty cool card. And Snorlax. Snorlax. Lax. Alrighty. So, not too bad. Russ, let's get you a bag, brother. <coughs> Hers is good looking, but not from that angle. What, you don't like Rose from that angle? You don't like dad bod Rose? Rose. Rose, thank you very much, brother. I appreciate it. Uh, how's the streaming tonight? Stream's been great, man. Stream's been great. Went through an entire round of Lucky Bags, and we just started a new one right now. All right. So, if anybody wants to get in on... Oh, wait. Gengar is to the, to the pile. Get out of here, Gengar. All right. So, if anybody wants to get in on another LB, you can. We just went through uh We just went through... What's it called? Um, we just did... Uh, also, I got to make F and Eric. I got to put these in there, things. So, we just did a new round of LBs. Russ just did the first one. It was Gengar. It was a mid-tier. So, you know, get in on some LBs before you go to bed tonight. We will be live again tomorrow. We'll have Crimson Haze, and we'll have the LBs, I'm assuming. Uh, but be careful, Patty G might buy out the rest of the LBs tomorrow. He's contemplated the idea, and he might do it. He did it tonight. So if you want to try and get your shot at the 1K bag, there is a damn near 1K bag um, in this round of LBs. So I'm not just spending 100 bucks and getting damn near $1,000 back. Pretty fucking crazy. Uh, if it happens, sweet. That's good for you. But you might only have so much time to do that, or else Patty G might just buy it out again. And if he does, you know what I mean? Then... uh. He's going to be getting that. Regardless, if he does buy him out, though, we, we do have a little cav... There's a little... Not a caveat. There's a little benefit there. If he does buy him out, I will throw a very, very, very expensive slab into the following round. Uh, 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 all right. Um, You got some new Amatakais? <laughs> Imatakai! <laughs> so... The Amatakais, we went through the Amatakais last time. We, we sold out of the Amatakais, um, but I will be ordering more Amatakais. It's just, the thing about Amatakais is they're very hard to find in good condition in bulk lots. It's so fucking hard to find. Um, but I, I stalk the market. So I, if I can find one or if any people that I buy from often hit me up and are like, hey, we have them, then yeah, I'll, we'll, we'll have them. Do I have to pay for these? Yes. You can win free stuff here. A lot of people do it every week. But mm, those specific ones, nah. 
Anyone chat win the slab for the last LB giveaway? Yeah. Um, Jose, f wait, Franco Jose, Gar was it Jose Franco Jr. won. He won with one entry. <laughs> Pretty fucking wild. I think he was just like, I think he came in from like a raid once and he got a free entry. And like, I, here's my opinion on that. I, Jose Franco, I'm 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 happy he won, right? I'm happy somebody that had a one free entry won. I think that's great. It shows anybody can win. However, if I'm being biased towards the individuals that are purchasing every night, it sucks one of you guys didn't win. That's my honest opinion. <laughs> I'm I'm happy somebody got it with one free entry, but at the same time I'm like, damn dude, that fucking sucks for the people that are buying. You know what I mean? It's like a double-edged sword. It's like, you know, I'm happy, but I'm also, like, kind of sad. No, it's not great. <laughs> Tyson's just like, no, it fucking isn't. It's not great at all. For me, it's not bad because it shows everybody that, yeah, you can win with one entry, so show up to stream. But in the other sense, it's like, damn. The people that are here buying, like, I, I hate seeing you guys get sniped like that. I'm happy when you do win. Misab was at the tag team. It was a Deoxys, Espeon Deoxys tag team alt in a 10. It was a good one. It was a solid one, man. It is funny, it, but it's like, you know, it's like, damn. All right. I'm going to give you guys five more minutes if anybody wants to do any uh, last minute orders towards any bags towards any boxes etc um so if anybody wants to go ahead five minutes baby new people winning isn't the worst hopefully they come back at least come back again yeah that's the that's the hope right the 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 hope is here's the here's the inevitability of it hopefully Mr. Franco Garcia Jr. decides that he's going to be like, yo, shout out Dom on Instagram. Thank you. I won with one entry. This is great. It's legitimate. And then I can repost that and people will be like, oh, it, you can do He He's not fucking around. He's not scamming us. Sweet. I'm going to go over there. And then like, hopefully that brings in more people and it, you know, we grow off of that. Um, if he just doesn't say anything and he just never comes back, then it's like, damn, I really wish he didn't fucking win that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not cool when somebody's like here for like just a, a fucking minute and then they never show up again that's when it sucks it's cool if like it brings somebody in and they're like a new member of the community or they're like you know they come back every now and then they're like you know and they're making orders they're interacting with people that's when it's that's when it's the best remind me not to give hee hee anything <laughs> it's not new people winning that is the problem it's when people who have never joined come in to win yeah that's that's when it sucks they're here for five minutes. Yeah, the, the 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 thing is, and here's the here's here's where it's like a it's a double edged sword. Is based on the rules, th people can win that way, and as long as they pay the shipping, they will get the card. There's no if and or buts. There's no, regardless of how I personally feel about it, it's it's how it goes. Right, it's how it goes. My personal opinion, if you come in one time, win a giveaway, pay shipping, and never show up again, fuck you. I wish you didn't win that. <laughs> but you you won it. So fuck you. Here's your winnings. Never come back. In reality, no, I want you to come back, asshole. But like, if you don't ever come back on your own accord, dang, dude, that sucks. I'd go back somewhere if I want something for free, like a really expensive slab. I'd be like, damn, this place is the shit. This is cool. That's like if Walmart was like, here's $200 gift card for free. I'd be like, I'm fucking going to Walmart. Like, damn, dude, this is sweet. I'd be like, yeah, well, fucking yeah, Walmart. You know what I mean? But, you know. Do you, have you ever considered doing the fun-ass wheel we did way back in the other channel streams? It's The, the thing about that wheel, hee hee, is it's very time-consuming. Running the wheel is super time-consuming. Uh, I can't stop by often, but I dig your stream, man. A lot of people just dilly dally during downtime, but you're always on about something Pokemon. <laughs> I, yeah, I just there's always some Pokemon related to talk about, so it's like it's very fun. 
Let's try to make it for people who say the whole stream to get an entry. Instead, it's a lot of people who randomly show up five minutes before he rolls it up to get in the wheel. I keep telling him that, hee hee. Right? What wheel? The thrill. The thrill of the wheel? The problem with the that specific wheel was that it was very time consuming. It was like, I'm at, so here, here's the problem with it. The spin of the wheel takes about 20 seconds. On top of that, the specific things labeled to it, we had to find them after the fact. And then on top of that, it's like switching the cams over to it. It was just a very hectic, not fluid thing. I liked it. It was chaotic. It was fun. But it was a very... It wasn't super fluid. That's why we made hot boxes. Because they're basically that. But it's just all I have to do is this. And then we're here. And I can just do it. Uh, versus um, with before, we had to go from like... I'll show you exactly what we had to do. To give you an, exa an example. We had to go from here. To here. To roll. To wait for it to fucking finish. And then we had to feed whatever it went on. We then have to come back to here, to here, find it, and then get it. And it's like, it was just a very time consuming process. And imagine doing that every single time for like a $5 order. It was like, it became very time consuming. Yeah, more. I would do it. Here's the thing. I would do it again for like an expensive thing because then the time would be the time would be justified. But um, you know what I mean. I would do it again if the time was justified. You know what I mean. So like how we used to do it before, it was like if you had um there say there was like a bunch of cards. Uh, some like really good raw value cards. Say like we had this Lugia V alternative art. And then we had a bunch of other cards around it. Um, like, uh, I don't know. A bunch of $5 cards. And each spin for the wheel was 20 bucks. So the majority of the time, you're going to get a card that's 5 10 15 bucks. But every now and then, somebody's going to spin on the Lugia. And because it's done through the wheel, which I can't fuck with, I can't program in my favor, it was completely random. So it was basically like... Um, it was like it, it was it was fun. It was fun, but it was also like very time consuming and not efficient. Yeah, that thing was over two two and a half years ago. It was over on the old channel. Anyways, let me just check Q, see if there was any more orders. If not, we'll wrap it up and go live tomorrow again. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up there, everybody. Thank you all so much for all of you who stayed throughout a fucking chaotic, hectic stream. It was super fun, though. Tomorrow, we're going to have Crimson Haze in. I'm looking forward to that. I'd like to do a hot box and a, and a case available for you guys. Like, a, a little bit of both. A little bit of both. But I do want to see how two cases rocks um, first before I, like, order another and we have, like, more product. We'll see how it goes. Bottom line, if anybody pulls a Sinistra as... Also, real quick, last thing we're doing before we end up. Fucking look at this card. They have uh, better pictures of the Sinister SAR. And just do me a favor. Look how fucking good this is. Look how good this is, dude. You can see, look at this is all the matcha. This is all the matcha dust. All over the fucking. Sinistra literally matcha all over the fucking book. And you know why this is, you know why this is cool? You know why this is cool? If you look at these pictures, you want to do something with me real quick? Check this shit out. Wait, hold up. These, this, the picture, the picture that the dust is primarily on. You notice anything about that picture? Do you notice anything about it? Do you notice anything about it? I'm genuinely asking because I don't. <laughs> I was hoping, like, imagine if this picture right here was like this initial art, like the art for the poltergeist or something. That would have been cool. But I don't, you know what I mean? I don't know. I just love the art. I think it's a great card. Anyways, good night, everybody. Thank you so much for coming through. Uh, Lucky bags are restocked. There's a damn near 1K bag in the mix. Try and get it, right? Good night, y'all. Have a good one. Love you guys. And we'll be live again tomorrow. Around the same time, uh, same place. And uh, Crimson Haze. It's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. Anyways, good night, everybody.